Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we're playing some Jaguar Ooh. games. Rawr. <laughs> oh, 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 don't fall off, Bernie. Yay. This is the closest I have to a Jaguar shirt. Oh, it's got the, it's claw got the claws. Marks. I like that. This was made by Nathan Strum. Oh, yeah. Um, Because I uh, constantly rage resetted. <laughs> so. And there was that that time when um, uh, Pixel... Uh, Almost smacked the he, reset button. Yeah, so, he was he yeah. was gunning for it. Yeah. Um. So it's there really cool shirt. Yeah. Especially if you do a lot of rage resetting. Yeah. I mean, when you're trying to get high scores. Um. So today we're going to be playing four, not three, four Jaguar games, but not just playing them. We're going to be playing with them with a rotary controller. That's cool. So not a normal <clears throat> joystick. Uh. Yeah. I'm not sure I've played with a rotary controller on the Jaguar before. Not on the Jaguar. No. We've played plenty on the 2600. Yes, yes. Um, but not on the Jaguar because I've never had one before. And I just finished making that... Modding one? Modding it nice. yesterday. And it worked? Yesterday, day before. Nice. And it does work. Yay. Um, but we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, the games we're going to be playing today are Tempest 2000. Mm. Not a homebrew. But I wanted to play all the rotary games on the Jaguar. Fair enough. And this is a unique case. But we'll get into why it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> Downfall OG Plus. Uh, actually, Tempest 2000 by, is by Lamasoft. Uh, Downfall OG Plus by Reboot. Mm -hmm. uh, Rebooteroids by Reboot. Mm -hmm. And Kobayashi Maru Final. Um, actually, Redux will be playing uh, by Reboot as well. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, Reboot makes a lot of Jaguar stuff. So chances are, whenever we're playing Jaguar, it's going to be Reboot. <laughs> um, and uh, all coded by Lawrence Staveley, uh, Cyrano oh, J. Nice. So Excellent. he said he should be able to make it maybe just after we play nice. Tempest, because he's he's busy at the moment oh, right fair now. fair enough, fair enough. And he lives in a faraway land. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Gently going up the screen actually it's going up the screen yeah. there you go Woo! uh Alna Fur, atari night 74 atari h Charis maximus beer poco chelston email charles wheel and chitlala cole patch one when did they join that's a new name yeah thank you cole patch one uh colonel lama dan abc daryl 1970 dr moo cows gamma dev glenn main great defender johnny wc Kamidu, kenzo carl g ken jennings invader uh, Carl G just saw the Mario movie apparently. Yes. Uh, Ken Jennings, Invader, Croco 2600, Gaveltifer, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yanis, Mark Space, Ing Metal, Atari, McMuse, Mike Solomon, Clitel, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Nostalgic 26, Packer, VG Quag 2600, Raymond C, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, Repentless, VG6, Sweet, Smitty B, Spice, Whereas, Ramirez, Teleprompter, D Train, Tiki Dan K, VVG Double Down, X Ken X. And if you want to subscribe and help uh, feed these poor hungry cats <laughs> and, and allow them to have their treats during treat time, mm. um, it's free to sign up with Amazon Prime. Just link them and hit subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, A lot of comments. I'm going to put the poll question first. Okay. So they can start doing that. Okay. Um, and then we can talk. Yep. Uh, start the poll. Boom. Start the poll. What, what did you play your first video game on? Ooh, that's a good question. It is. Yeah. And I just thought of it like a, an hour ago, and I'm like, oh, that's, I've never asked that. Um, one, our, like you'll have to think way back. I, I, I know my answer. Because we all were born after video games. Well, I assume. Looking at demographics that I can see. Fair enough. We were all born after the video, uh, the invention of video games mm. and the accessibility to everyone video games. Yeah. So everybody played Let it on something. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Armstrong Coda, for subscribing. Yay, thank you. Uh, 32 months. Oh, my God. Very nice. Uh, one, <laughs> arcade cabinet. Two, game console. Three, handheld gaming device. And I am including any electronic handheld gaming device mm. um so that can go way back even to merlin that's a gaming device so we talked about merlin last show uh a computer which they've been around forever um or other did i miss one 
Mm. I'll I, have to think back. So I this is hard. I see a lot of ones and twos flying up the screen. Arcade cabinet, yeah. I think for me it would be a computer because we had like Apple computers in elementary yes, school. That's true. And I'm pretty sure if I really think about it, I probably played a computer game on a computer in elementary school before. Oregon Trail? <laughs> No, well, Lemonade they had different stand. ones. <laughs> I, I don't know. Those but, are the big ones. <laughs> but I think it's likely that I played it on a computer before I ever played an arcade in an arcade. Because I cannot see my parents ever giving me 25 cents to play in an arcade. Uh, yeah, mine so too. So I think computer. I think computer. I... It's hard to remember, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say handheld device really it's like, something called oh. a, a data man okay and it's this little handheld calculator of sorts and yeah. i got it when i was around four see those little games too it, and it it'd had be hard games to know. built in to it yeah like garbage games terrible garbage games yeah but it was for kids but it had games built into it and i i am almost certain that is before i touched uh, a 2600 it was before the release of the it was around the release of the 2600 but i didn't play 2600 till a couple of years into its release is so. it speak and spell a computer or a handheld well it's it's a handheld is it it doesn't it, it runs on batteries you can hold it in your hand i would classify that as a handheld Interesting. gaming device and it, it does have know. games in it it does have games yep so like um, I yep, don't know Tiger when they LCD, came out. handheld yes. as well. Yes, it's hard to little judge. Professor, uh, 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 little Professor, little Professor, very yes. similar to what I had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's really hard. I, I don't it's know. It's hard because you have to go like in single digit age we to try had, and figure it out. We got a Commodore sixty four, but I don't remember being super young when we got it. Yeah. I'm positive I would have played something before that, but it's very hard to know. So I definitely played. Uh, speak and spell urban monkey speak and spell. <laughs> yeah I, I definitely played it before i ever saw a computer yeah and before i ever played on a uh console and i'm pretty sure i didn't go to arcades when i was no like i did four years when i was old, young four i don't five. Think, i don't think i um played i need to retract yeah. my nes and speak yeah and spell. speak yeah. and spell like there were really and like i can i can remember you can you can vote for the too. for the other one even you can't retract your vote but no. you can add your second you're vote. welcome to yeah it's uh, just type in the not, the other number um, i still have a cold it's really annoying oh <laughs> you're still a little congested so my voice yeah. is a little yeah. Yeah. oh thank you for following mr bizarro music, music room. room that was a long name nice. yeah uh okay so what were you yes i know treats will come yeah. <laughs> um what were you gonna say i was just saying there were a lot of comments about how lazy the cats look uh, they're not lazy. Well, the Atari is fully, fully this is, this is in belly exposed mode. This is, I am really hot mode. Yeah, it is warm here. It's probably at least, it's 26 degrees in this room, it's which is a little, a little on the hot side. So uh, Atari is just trying to cool <laughs> off. He's just trying to like cool that belly down. Hot belly? Hot Do you belly. have a hot belly? Yeah. Can I touch your hot belly? Oh. oh. It's splayed. actually quite cool. Yes. yes, he's very splayed. That's rude, Atari. Come on. <laughs> um, They're funny. <laughs> anyway, they've made up. They were a little see, upset with each other earlier in the week at following James' injury. Tuesday, they were they were on edge. Tuesday. So speaking yep. of injury. Yeah. How's um, this? How's the toe doing? So we'll get a. Uh, oh, it's a bit overexposed. Yeah, but, it's um, really hard to see. So I don't put the side one on anymore. It's yeah. it's healing enough that i don't need to put protective but uh, toe cam yeah the, the, t <laughs> the toe is still uh touch and go but today was yeah. the first day it didn't bleed <laughs> yay <laughs> yay after five days it stopped bleeding yeah there you it's go. because i walk on it and yeah it's hard it, to get it to it heal pulls and the yeah. nail is like part of the nail is fully separated so that's probably moving and yeah it was it was bleeding out of the corner where the where the toenail had cracked yeah every time and today it's it's finally healing absolutely nothing Yay. oh my goodness and i can walk on it yeah now that's good. um a little bit of limping here and there but i can walk around the house 
Yeah. I've been outside for very short walks yeah. to the car and yeah. back. But uh, yeah. It's getting better. It's much better. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and if you weren't here for that whole uh, discussion, just uh, watch the yeah yeah. But basically, there was last a, episode. There was a cat freak out, and um, poor little Atari, who's now a cannibalistic, well not cannibalistic. <laughs> he has a cat. taste for blood. He has a taste for human blood human now. Blood. He um, bit James's toe, rather for an extended severely, period of time. Um, and like a uh, fish, they've all made up now. Fish they've all made up. Fish onto you. Yeah. Just did not let go. Yeah. Anyway, it, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. He was he was He's very scared. Kitty, yeah, but uh, he got very freaked out. Yeah, he did. Poor yeah. kitties. Yeah. Um, oh, so let's look at the poll. Uh, phew, arcade cabinet and game console are tied for first at 43 percent. Wow. So I can understand uh, arcade because yes. that's accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's only a quarter. People had allowances. Uh, the power, superpower of pain. Yeah. Const, constant, <laughs> constant pain. Constant pain. <laughs> it's not a great superpower. No. And I would like to get rid of it. What feline quality would you like to um, spontaneously Ooh, inherit through Atari's DNA? I mean, they have great jumping abilities. Yes, they do. Great smelling abilities. Yes. They're very fast. Um, what else? I'd go for... Probably speed. Speed? Is that yeah. the feeling? Yeah, they're pretty Jumping's fast. Jumping's good, but I think knife you would use... Too. Yeah. Knife vision's pretty good, but I think I would use the speed more. Because yeah. jumping is like, oh, how much do you need to jump? Rather than walking or running somewhere, I think it would be much more useful than running. What does everybody else think? What would they <laughs> take out of the cat yeah. powers? We have So far we have night vision, Yeah. jumping, running fast... And what was the other one I said? Oh, smelling. Really smelling. good smell. I also think they have this amazing ability to just completely ignore you and walk away. It's like <laughs> it's like the equivalent yes. of a human having starting Ignore a conversation mode. and a person just walking away from them in the middle oh. of the conversation. Power That's to pretty take much cat naps too. Cat naps. But do they really fall <laughs> fully they asleep? They do have good hearing, actually. I already have the ability to ignore and walk Good away. Well. That's <laughs> yeah. true. So you don't need that one. And I, I, I'm done. I'm walking away. Um, so the games that have spinner support on the okay. Jaguar. On the Jaguar. This may not be an exhaustive list, but I did put the question out to Cyrano J, and he has made spinner games, so he, he knows quite a number of them. Um, Tempest 2000, which is a classic Jaguar game. Mm. Um, Arkanoid, Downfall. Impulse X, Kaboom, Kobayashi Maru, Project W, which is Warlords, uh, Virtual Experiences Pong, and Rebooteroids. And he said, technically, Gravitic Mines has spinner support, Ooh. which <gasps> you would think would be very, very useful because it's a ship that spins around. Yeah. But his quote says, Cyrano J says, Gravitic Mines does... But it, it's it's four thousand percent not recommended. He made this oh, game. So. Okay. <laughs> it just ramps the difficulty into the you gotta be joking. We can't even play this zone. Oh no. So too sensitive or yeah. It, it just okay. doesn't work probably because there's so many other buttons you have to deal with. Yeah. And usually you're pointing up because it does have a recenter button as well. So True. you're pointing up. True. Because once you point to the side and you press the accelerator, you just you're going yeah. that way. So. Yeah. yeah, and you have side thrusters, so you're mostly pointing up and thrusting to the side like this. That's very true. So he doesn't recommend it. We'll probably add it on in the end just to just to show it off. Uh, not today, because this is part one. We're going to be two parts because there's too many games to go over. There's a lot of conversations about cats licking butts and having to lick their butt to clean themselves. So you guys, <laughs> um, careful. <laughs> licking butts. Um, so what? kind of spurred all of this on is um the spinner the the spinner mm -hmm. is machine posted in this is the guy who did all the uh patches the amazing uh homebrew patches um for all the activision games that never had a real patch um so he posted in the atari age forums about a spinner kit that he was selling mm -hmm. And I'd always been interested in a um, spinner since I knew that it was a thing. And I try and 
make sure I have all the input devices for each of the it's nice to, yeah, have options. different system. Yeah. <laughs> because if I all, all of a sudden it's like, oh, I want to play this new game. Oh, I you can't. can't. I yeah. literally can't. Or I play or I can't play it very well. Mm -hmm. uh, Blasteroids. Hmm. Well, we are playing Rebooteroids, which is an asteroids. And that mm. sounds like asteroids as well. Mm. Um, so he posted this. Here's a package for anyone who's interested in doing a Jaguar uh, rotary mod. This package contains all the pieces you need except for the controller. Um, so it has the front plate, the back plate, um, the potentiometer. Okay. Um, that goes to the front and the back. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I put it in wrong. <laughs> did you put it upside down? No, what I did... Which would probably solve. Don't you love that when you're looking at the photo and then you realize it? This will probably solve a couple problems. Okay. <laughs> you see this nut here? Yeah. That nut's on the front. Okay. You put it on the back? All I did was shove this in with the nut already on. So the nut's underneath. Oh, oh. And, well, mm. Mm, and it's causing some issues with fitting. Oh. And so. I did some. I'll I'll talk about it in a oh, bit. Oh, is that but, what the modifications? Were yeah, to? I, I you still do need to do modifications. Okay. But I don't think I need to do as many. But it, but I think I can make it better now that I know. That's fine. That's fine. I had to, kind of wreck, not wreck. You can't tell from the outside. Mm. But make some mods, and I'll talk about it in a second. And you get this spinner mm. um, knob, and it's very nice. It has Jaguar on the top. Nice. Great, sturdy. Uh, and this is what you also get in the kit. You mm. get. Uh, uh, Jaguar wristband. Wristband, because they're cool. Yeah. It is not a, um, a grounding band. No. <laughs> That'd be kind of yeah. cool. A, yeah. a Jaguar grounding band, so you can work on it. Yeah. In other words, you made it harder on yourself. A hundred percent harder on myself. Yes. Um, and you get the box, which is right here. And the box is lovely. Look at that box. It is a beautiful box. I think is... all controllers should be kept in that box from now on. That's such a beautiful box. Yeah. It's it's gorgeous. How it, it, buy it buy it for the rotary controller, also buy it for the storage box. Yeah, it is yeah. really nice. So it's it really looks like really a nice. retail box. Yeah. For for like selling the Jaguar rotary controller because it has this the picture of it on there. Wow. It has the side view of the controller. Wow. Rotary controller. A lovely box. We all appreciate good boxes in this yep. in this on the show. And it's got the diagram pointing like it looks super legit it's nice. absolutely amazing and it gives some examples of games you can play with the rotary controller very nice tempest rebooteroids which we're both playing today and impulse x which we'll play in part two all right um so it um comes with the wristband very nice. right here, Ooh, here. so you're going to be wearing the wristband while sure. we play it's a little large for good but luck. we're all good yes i need i need the luck <laughs> <laughs> and um, it also comes with a little paper diagram of where the wires go, because that's really all you need to know is where to um, solder in the solder wires. Solder in the wires, yeah. And literally, it's six solder points. Mm. So three on the board and three more on the potentiometer. Very easy. Even Thanks. Even for an amateur, that's all the extra stuff that Other he stuff? sent me. I already showed it off on the show. Oh, you all did already? Patches, oh, okay, okay. That's not part of the kit, so. Gotcha. I don't want to confuse people. It. Yes, it is absolutely super awesome box. So let's take a look at what I did. Well, kind of did to mine. Um, so I posted... Well, okay. The kit is for a B controller which was posted in the thread it says okay. only for b controllers okay and i had to figure out what a b and a g controller was and machine explained it to me on the back of the controller there are serial numbers and either starts oh. with a b or a g really okay and internally they're very different designs really? externally they look exactly the same interesting same shell but different yeah. components then. the boards are shaped different the that um ribbon cable is a little different Oh, it's an encoder, not a potentiometer. Mm. Hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. It would be an encoder. Um, the paddle is a potentiometer. Mm. And the driving controller is an encoder. An encoder. So I stand corrected. Sorry. That's correct. Um, 
so I had four G controllers okay. and no B controllers. Oh no. So I'm like, okay, well, do I buy a B controller? Just just to mod it. Just to mod it because that's what it's made for. Yeah. Or and and spend X dollars. I looked and I couldn't find an inexpensive one that mm. would get here very quick. Mm. And I wanted to use this and play it. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna do the G and I messaged machine he's like it's not for the g you can't use it for and, the g at all and he's like last time i messed with a g controller it was difficult mm. then i started looking up like um so this is what it um let's see that's that's the b nope this is a g controller this is mine okay and i took pictures of it and that's the b that's this is still mine oh all i see g. it's the underside yeah um and i think I'll show you what the B looks like so you can get yeah yeah reject all the cookies I don't need any cookies so you can see it's mm. it's quite different um, the looks of it and the sizes of things and uh, this is the board and that is and the that's board. the that board for mine very it's different. it's pretty similar layout is just the shape of it is quite different mm. yeah um anyway i showed pictures and then i compared mine to that one i did um continuity testing mm. it's like this maps exactly the pins are exactly the same so i thought okay um i can do this um then i um, soldered it onto mm. the board worked perfectly very happy um success yay so it did work and but i gave caveats of what you have to do if you have a g you will have to permanently modify, modify it um specifically uh you can't really see it unfortunately um but where uh maybe i can go back to here to his post and i'll show you right here on the g controller see that thing um that goes some on some posts on the b mm, controller okay on mine it's an octagon and that thing does not fit in the octagon it has to sit above it which is doesn't work it has to go flush like that one mm -hmm. so i had to shave down all the corners to make it into an octagon to fit inside the it, octagon the octagon okay and it's totally fine yeah works fine that's why we have a dremel tool that's right. I yes. just need to fix this. I'll do that after the show. Yeah. Yeah, we have a great Dremel tool for Tanya's projects. Yeah. Um, and so that doesn't go in flush on yeah. mine. It sticks out, which causes the board to stick out a little bit, and et cetera, et cetera, and you can't close it. So I had to do some other things. But anything, anyway, it looks great um, uh, externally. Yeah. <laughs> Internally, it's a bit weird. Yeah. But it works. Uh, urban that's... monkey i just realized why i reckon you and i you we met a couple times i was at the 10th, 10th anniversary there RR me meetup there you talking about her i think me yes because you obviously know yeah. who the hell i am <laughs> yeah yeah she was i she was, was at there. the 10th anniversary yeah that was kind of the tail end of rant and the beginning our, our, beginning well we've been together for a couple of years couple of years beginning yeah. of our yeah relationship yeah, yeah. there you go <laughs> so yes well, we have seen nice, her before nice many to years see ago you again urban monkey like <laughs> Well, 2009, so that's 13, 14 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Time um, flies. Yep. Time flies. So, machine messaged many, me. Many, many, many um, years. <laughs> many, many years. <laughs> yes. He, uh, machine still has six kit kits for sale. Yeah. And he has six pre-made ones. So if you don't, if you're not good at soldering, oh. or you're just not interested in soldering, he's got them ready to go. Or you don't have a controller to nice. mod. Yeah. He has six ready to go. They're different prices, of course um and once those 12 are sold no more box versions will be available so he literally has 12 box versions available so okay. if you want them you need to get them uh now what's the cheapest you've seen jaguars be go for before they explode in prices oh. i'm not an old school jaguar person uh um, yours is relatively new right mine's relatively new i got a pretty good deal because it included a bunch of stuff yeah. with it you gotta get um, all the stuff but it still was <laughs> fairly expensive yeah it's it's they're worth quite a bit now yeah because um, they're rarity I, I looked and looked and looked and looked for a couple of years 
around our area and just yeah. nobody has them yeah they just were not did this come from enough. one of the gaming expos in the end or was it something you got off uh, eBay? i got off ebay yeah. i believe yeah okay um i don't know if the, i was looking for one at the expo maybe I don't th i think it was just after the expo yeah. started looking for them um so uh, when when those 12 are gone he's going to be offering a non-boxed kit soon it'll be 40 dollars plus six dollars shipping or mm -hmm. more for where you are it'll be cheaper shipping because it's not in a box it's mm -hmm. just like a bag of goodies um the kit will contain the wristband the mod kit and the jaguar branded zipper bag which nice. i didn't get but it's a cool uh black zipper bag okay. with jaguar on it oh nice. so there's your options there you go I don't know how much the uh, non-bundled are. I bet it has a price somewhere here. Uh, $55. So it's going to go down uh, 15 mm. So I think it, the box is around that price. Mm. Um, the box alone is $55. Well, it's, pff, no. <laughs> I think it's like 15 or something. No, That's I'm why it's dropping kidding, yeah. 15 <laughs> Yeah. Um, Okay. Thank you for following Nolan. Yes. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to the first game. Yay! I'm so excited to try this 2000, out. Which is 2000, which it works perfectly on. Does it's it? It's so good. Oh. I've been waiting to to play Tempest yeah. at home with a rotary controller yeah. for so long. Yeah. Um, 2600 can't really do it. And I'm surprised nobody has made it on the 7800. Oh, the, a rotary, you mean? Or? Because you can plug in controllers mm. from a 2600 on a 7800. Mm. Maybe it does exist, and I'm just ignorant of it. Um, Except so. for the bonus levels, says Ivory Tower Collections. It is so pretty. Oh, yeah, you have to is. play the bonus levels with the normal controller. Okay. So there are mods for this controller for mm. uh, rotary. Okay. that you can leave the directional pad and the rotary goes on the bottom oh okay i've seen some on the side as well but i it, uh, it's better it's, straight up and down right yeah it's yeah it's a very unique use case so i just said oh i'm just gonna do just cool. straight on there okay oh we're all waiting for the pac-man plus to port tempest oh yes yes please okay let's get Ooh into it so this is a classic game which is pretty rare that we play classic games on the show now you can't the menu doesn't work with that so okay. don't press anything um so uh luckily you can plug it it uh, does work with the second controller the menu select that's really good so you can have both very good in. so this game is from 1994 it is a two meg game C and A are up and down, I think. Oh. Uh, C and A are up and down in the game. Oh, in the... I don't know. In, in the, the menu? Menu, maybe? Oh, Can maybe. We'll try it next time. Know. There we are. Tempest 2000. So the volume is lower than the intro growl. Sorry. Can we adjust it? Uh, that very trippy this game is made by jeff <laughs> minter from lamasoft okay all of his games are crazy trippy like this i love it they're so <laughs> it looks weird fantastic it, it it's yeah it looks so good so wow. tempest 2000 is a tube shooter video game originally developed by lamasoft and published by atari uh april 13th 1994 um and it, it looks so good this game you need to adjust the volumes on the uh levels in the game option oh okay Oh no. Option for game option. Oh, press option. Excellent. Display, control, and controller type. Nope. There. Display setup maybe? Excellent. Audio is under display. I don't see an audio. Nope. Excellent. Fat vectors. Ooh, interlace. Nope. Excellent. Skinny vectors. Ooh, what should we do? Ooh, I don't know. Start with fat vectors, because I just like the name of fat vectors. That would be really good to have that name, too. Oh, you think you have to be in the game first. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know any of these games. We'll play... Uh, well, we're here to play Tempest 2000. Okay. 
Thanksgiving. Alright. I'm not the best Tempest player. I say that for every game we play. So, it says up and down to select levels. Don't. Is it CNA? Hold on. Oh, yeah it is. C. Advanced. I would start on the first level. So, uh, B is shoot. Yeah. That's obviously spin around. Yeah. Um, C is destroy everything on the screen. It's a big bomb. Yep. And sometimes you get um, bonus items like jumping and stuff, and I believe those are A. Okay. Um, so, get into it. Shoot everything. There are bonus items to pick up or shoot as well. Zapper. That's what it's called. Collect power ups. Get that. Get that. Uh, what? Oh. The green. The green thing. They do shoot, so you want to make sure you, that's the power up. Oh. Uh... Sometimes it'll give you more firepower. Oh my god. Oh, gosh. don't run into them. No, I'm I'm okay. just getting used to it. Yeah. <laughs> not trying to run into anything. <laughs> uh, Tempest 2000 was critically acclaimed when it was released on the Jaguar with critics praising the graphics, gameplay, and soundtrack. It's often been called one of the best games released for the Jaguar as of April 1995. The Jaguar, oh, and as of April 1995, the Jaguar version has sold more than 30,000 copies during its lifetime, making it one of the best-selling games for the system. Uh, the most common criticism with the Jaguar version of Tempest 2000 was the lack of rotary control, similar to the controller in the Tempest arcade machine. In fact, the game was programmed with an option to use just a, such a controller, despite the fact that Atari never released one. So, the, this game was programmed for a rotary controller. This is not a modded version, this is not a hacked version, it's the original binary for it. Um, because Jeff Minter made his own rotary controller from an Atari 2600 driving controller. Um, and it's in a secret menu to enable it. Um, to get, I, I already enabled it, um, because it was already, because I tested it out beforehand. Um, when you get to the main select game type to place, hit the option on controller 1 to enter the game option screen. Then at the option screen, press the pause button on both controllers at the same time, and you'll enable the controller type menu option, which allows you to uh, choose the rotary controller. I think you can hold down the fire button. So that you can just keep it What? Hold oh. down the fire button. Uh Avoid spikes remains good advice. I still love that. I still love that. <laughs> That's your helper. Oh. Get it? Oh. It doesn't last to the next round. <laughs> so, uh, let's read a little bit about the game. What craziness is this? It's a flat world. What is up with that? Particle laser! Oh, missed it. That's okay. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss stuff. Yeah, it's better to miss the power ups than run into bad guys. Exactly. Ah. Lots going on on the screen. I know, it is a little hard to keep track. So now you have to jump game. enabled. So if you're ever in, in trouble, you can jump over something. Yeah. I have to figure out Out of here. Into the, into the round room. Is it? Not for us. <laughs> Not for us. For them. Um, okay, so let's read a bit about this game. Uh, from the manual. Back in 1981, Tempest introduced the gaming world uh, to an extra sensory, visual, and futuristic play experience uh, that went beyond any video game concept ever developed, with never before seen quadra scan color video graphics. Was this the first color? Vector Arcade game? Was it? it? They did qualify with Quadra Scan color video graphics. Yes. So yes. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe their own brand of color vector. Um, Tempest set new standards for 3D animation and challenge became the first arcade game to be a guaranteed hit. That's a strange sentence. Um, in Tempest 2000, the video game that defined arcade intergalactic warfare has officially warped into the 64-bit dimension. 
This game is a reason to get started with Jaguar for shot sure. Me. Who shot me? Yeah, this is a reason to buy, uh, buy a Jaguar. And Raiden. Raiden's really good on the Jaguar, too. Uh, jump is either B or C. B is fire, so I think it's... Well, one is clear the whole screen. Okay, so I might want to clear the whole screen. Let's see. There you go. Eat electric death. I like that. It's awesome. 1981 Space Fury first color vector arcade game. Thank you, RC70. Oh, oh you ran into no. it. Ride the rim and unleash your super zapper on crafty flippers and fuse balls in traditional Tempest. Team up with a friend or an AI droid and light up the webs against pesky spikers and pulsers in Tempest Plus. We'll have to play together in Tempest Plus next. Oh. Venture through the hun uh, hundred uncharted galaxies. Hundred? Oh yeah. I mean, it's just a shape. I haven't even I haven't even encountered spikes yet. Like. <laughs> oh my god! He's telling you to avoid the spikes, and they don't even exist yet. How's the rotor controller? I found it really good on this it's, game. It's good. It's it, it takes a little getting used to for me, but yeah, it's every uh, just a warning. Every game is going to be a little different in sensitivity for the rotary control. Yeah. Some are like unbelievably sensitive, and some are like, oh, I can spin it like crazy. This one's more. There's the spikes. Yeah, I see them. So when it when you start warping to the next one, you gotta pick a pick a lane. No. Oh, press C. Oh. Oh, just. In time. Whoa. Carmack geeked out on the Jag. <laughs> Jag version of Wolf 3D is my favorite version. Better than computer? Hmm. You mean console version? There's no way it's better than the computer. That's impossible. Oh, spikies. Um, da, 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 uh, filled with hostile demon heads and warp bonus tokens in Tempest 2000. Then use your mirror and go blaster to blaster against the most formidable alien of them all, your best buddy, in Tempest Duel. In Tempest Duel, do we fight? I thought we did. Uh, okay, A is jump, yep. B is fire. C is super zapper, so we figured that. Um, call up game options menu from the men. I think the, the relative volumes are pretty good. I can hear you firing and the music. Um, pause is pause. Oh, you can change different views with 1, 4, and 7. Or you can have a locked view where it doesn't move. That's cool. Or a close-up view in relation to how you move. I think that default is a pretty good view. Oh, that was close. Oh, I always, I never, I'm never quite sure when it's on the edge. And I accidentally ran into it. Uh, Rune Digi says, do you have an extra controller plugged in for when you get to the bonus level? Uh-oh, what level is the bonus level? That's a good question. Uh, we do have another controller. Does port 2 work, hopefully? Oh, shit. I have one life left. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boo! Jag version is better than Beast PC? What? Oh. Come up here. We can turn the music on or off with zero. Lots oh, of options. There's a kitten. That's great. Well, he's, he's nice and cool, actually. You see? Oh. Cats are pretty good for self -reg regulating their heat. You wouldn't think so with all that black fur, but. It helps them. Uh, so the jump is a new thing for this game. Memory save. So that's probably why it's remembering that I enabled the rotary controller, because it remembers things. What does it remember? Uh, high score and keys information. Uh, the cartridge will store up to 100,000 changes? Oh. oh, it's on the cartridge, yeah. I don't have the cartridge. This would be a game that I would buy, along with Raiden, but Raiden's really expensive. I think this one's a bit more affordable. Uh, use C and A for up, down. Uh, you don't need, don't need another controller. Uh, it looks like C and A were acting as up and down. Could those be used oh, in the bonus round? On. Oh, it could be. Yes, regular controller in port two. Okay, so we're set for the bonus round if you make it. You're on your last life again. I know, I know. Is this your first game still? Yes. Oh my god. It's really good. It's really fun. <laughs> Kicking ass. It's really fun. I die so quick in the oh, arcade. Oh, there we uh, go. The arcade is harder than this. I, I feel this oh, is a yeah. little easier than the arcade. It's nice to have it in your hand, too. Spinner does not have a free spinning mass like the arcade mm. does. No, it doesn't. You can't go whizz. No, that's like 
super expensive. Look at this. Spinner. Look at this. Look how trippy this is. Super trippy. Oh my goodness, I love it. So let's go. Look at that crazy game over. It's awesome. I have to get tons of power ups to get a warp triangle. Mm. Can you close that? I can't quite see yeah, everything. That's uh equals bonus level oh, okay so you have to earn your way to the bonus level okay so let's play two player oh okay you did I'll one around it. on your own with the um sure? i will play in this one with okay two player sure can you press b get out of it and then we'll go for two player. go for two player oh you should put in that score you did really well did i i don't know, I don't know, how know if to you do can it. can you spin you should be able to spin no use Is left it? and right oh i can do it Oh, okay. There we go. Tob. Ooh. Sure. Oops. Tob away. Tob. Oh, it's backwards to what I think. I'll go this way. Toe. There we go. Tob. Tob it away. Uh oh, she got eighth. Oh my god. Ah. How did they get that score on the other <laughs> one? That's impossible. Impossible. Okay, yep. I'm soft. Great. Trippy drop. Okay, Tempest Duel. Uh, Tempest Duel. Uh, yes. Oh, it's against each other. Just Ooh. do one round to start. I want to see how long that takes. But Is it jump back and forth? Or do we do play side by side? Ooh. Oh, it's side by side. We'll s both see our own... We'll just play the first level. Sure. Press B. Hi. Oh, there's. So, so we both have lives. Atari's demanding treats Are right we now. We're fighting each other. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, we're not oh. fighting each other. Are we? Yes, we are. So I see your bullets. Can they hurt you? Yes. Oh my god. My bullets hurt you. Your bullets hurt me. If I just me. spin in a circle, that's going to be impossible for you to <gasps> defend against. Oh. Yes, you're right. Oh, I just got you. Oh my god. <laughs> But I can't see. Not on your screen, no. No. Ah! I can see your bullets, but. God. Oh, there okay. You wins. just destroyed me on that. Uh, that's not very Hi. fun. Hi. You hungies? That's not very fun. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I won. Duel is versus. You. Yeah, it's it is. person against person. Yeah, it's it's an interesting concept. Mm. I don't. Well, this can work in the menu. So let's play mm. Tempest 2000 again. Mm. And I'm gonna go up the levels a bit because we've seen a bunch of them. You playing on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's okay. Which oh, one did you make it to? I don't know. I don't know. Quite far. You saw that one? Uh, saw that one? Uh, I, I think I got through. Saw that one? I don't know. They don't all look familiar. I don't <laughs> I don't remember seeing that one. Oh, but I saw other as ones. As there was go. a flat one. So. Oh, maybe it's jumping. I like, think it's jumping. This is going to be pretty far ahead, I think. Yeah, you can do co-op in uh, the one that's not Tempest 2000 or Tempest Classic. So oh, there is a co-op in one of the other plus, okay. maybe. Yeah, this is great. Those things are coming right for you. Yeah, I can't even see myself there. <laughs> well, that I find what is it this, early 3D? quite bizarre because it shifts with your movement like, and it you, it doesn't catch up quick enough. No, it's when I a go little from bit here to there. Weird. I'm like, where am I? It's a little bit weird. Galactic or electric death. Electric death would have been galactic would have worked too. Yeah, I think Hi. I'm gonna die really quick because they're all have no practice. I don't have jump. Nobody's giving the kitties treats. I know the gray one came and now the black one's coming. Get your butt out of my face. They're alternating. It's treat time. Yum. Oh, yum, yum, it's yum. treat time. Thank you, Chalcedony Meow. Chalcedony Meow. Meow. The cats say thank you. Yeah, I am just getting destroyed all right you done you done are you ready 
are we, is this gonna be a competition? Oh, yeah. Oh, Atari got one before Sprite. What? One. They both got one though, right? No, he didn't hit it yet. There we go. I think that was Sprite, but I oh. wasn't watching. No, Atari got it. Oh, good. Uh, Sprite was ba banging it, but I didn't hear it go. I'm so. gonna play the normal version. Okay. Or the first level. Oh, two, one, you know what? Before I keep going. Yep. Hit it. I did not make the Good kitty. Two, two. Oh! <gasps> oh, <gasps> give it to another one. There you go. Yeah. He would feel very... Still two, two, because he didn't ring the bell. I'm just going to play the traditional while this is going on, because we'll be playing oh. the plus with two people okay. after this. That's a little unfair. This. Okay, yeah, oh, I heard it. One. Service, service. It's just the chords are kind of in the way for us oh, right there. Well, that is good, because he there we go. needs all the... Three, three. The trouble he gets. Oh, this looks a little different. Four, three. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, where did he go? No. Give him another one. Here, Quick. here. There it is. It's the referee's fault. Four, four. Five, four. Hurry's ahead. Five, five. Six, five? My goodness. Hey, Roger, go! Woo! Party of eight. Now six, seating. Six. Thank Welcome. you for raiding. Oh. Welcome to all the raiders. We're in the middle of a ferocious cat Seven, battle. Seven, six. Seven, six for... Atari. Atari. Seven, seven. Neck and neck. We're going to ten. Oh. Eight, seven. Wow. Wow. Sprite? Even this seems Oh, eight, eight. Easier than the arcade. They're coming so slow. Nine, eight. eight. It's game points. Oh, my goodness. For Atari? Yeah. Wow. That is unusual. Oh, Tied nine, game nine. Point. It's anybody's Atari. game now. Atari, you're going to do it? Atari. Oh, hit it again! Get it! Oh, we did it. Atari, ten wins. Nine. Atari wins! Atari wins! Oh, consolation treat for Sprite! Wow, that's the third time Good Atari has job. won! Good job! Good job! Third time ever! Woo. Great job! Great Atari. job, cats! Atari wins! Good job, kitties! Good job, Atari! Oh, oh it's hot in here! <laughs> 500 degrees. And Atari leaves. He's like, I got my 10, ten treats. I'm off. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. What an upset. This is the game that should have been a pack in. This game? Yes. 100%. This would have been a system seller. Oh, oh for God. the Jaguar? Yeah, for the Jaguar. Nice. It's not as, like, it's an amazing game. <laughs> uh, people are familiar with it. Oh, yeah, but it didn't have a rotary controller. That's That's the thing. People probably would have been like, ah, but they should have made a rotary controller. It's easy. The technology already existed. Yeah. Atari Atari owned the technology. That's right. That's right. From their from their driving controller. Yep. Never oh, happened, they should though. have done that. Instead of what was it, Cybermorph? But this is not a the problem well this is 3D, but people wouldn't probably think of it as 3D. Right? Yeah. Comments about how um, Atari's gonna have to come back. Um, Sprite. What was it? Last time Atari wins. Keep an eye on the Sprite doll. Last time Atari won, Sprite sneaked off. Oh, yes. that's true. Yeah, with the the. You can take revenge. With the Sprite up here. The Sprite doll. <laughs> it is the Sprite doll. It is it's what we named him after. Yeah. Fluffy black. Hey, okay. interference. <laughs> Fluffy back, black soot sprite. Okay. We'll try it with thin uh, vectors next time. Oh yes, before we... Um, I don't know if thin vectors is a um, an option for um, pro. For okay. Play. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. Interference. Interference from sprite. From soot okay. sprite. So let's... Are you uh, going to keep playing? No, no, no. no I No. We'll okay. play forever. Yes, we will. So 
we want to play the pro. I'm just going to die here. Yeah, hard to pack in a game based on an 81 arcade game in the 64-bit era. It's very That's true. a hard sell, even though, oh my god, this would have been so amazing. Like, if they put a rotary controller oh, yeah. in it. That would have been fun. Like, one that was, like, mounted on the side, so you had the, the joystick as well, the D-pad. Yeah. But it's a pack-in, though. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think people were really impressed with Cybermorph, though. I don't, I don't know. How did Cybermorph go over? Mm -hmm. Cybermorph looked cool in two-inch screenshots. Ugh. Right. I'm just going to die. Mm. Well, maybe I can just um, option out. Maybe. Pause. No, I don't think so. I, I never really played with the jumping, because I, I, uh, I should have done that. But you just get so sucked into it, you're trying to dodge things so much. Yeah. Alert. Alert. Did alert! You get, did you alert. get an alert on your? Yeah, I think. Uh, your watch saying you're uh, you sedentary for too long. You uh, need to get no, up and walk. No, no, my friend, we were. Um... <laughs> uh, when going to Rebooteroids, go to the options, adjust the gamma and rotary options to suit. Oh, excellent! Yes, because I was having some trouble when I was playing around with that. Okay. Nice. Uh, my my. Cyrano made it. Awesome. Welcome. I told him we'd play uh, Tempest long enough for him to arrive. Yeah. My friend is seeing Donnie Darko tonight with the director oh. who's um, giving a talk. Yeah, it was very interesting. She, she went with her daughter who's like 13 and saw it for the first time and loved it. So they're yes, going to yes, see a, a, one of our like second run theaters play it. So she she's messaging me. Oh, I wish I... And then also mentioning that. that there's a, a Twilight film festival. <laughs> She's going to see that. No. Donnie Darko, 100%. <laughs> Crispy. So, I just thought that was funny. No, no Twilight. Yeah, jumping is an essential survival skill. Yeah, I need to, I yeah, need to learn it. Yeah, but you have to catch the bonuses. What are we doing? So what we're is both this? Playing. Ooh! Both playing now. We're teamed up. I'm green. Ten is yellow, if you could tell by the speed of her movements. Yeah, I can move pretty fast. Speed. It's almost... Speed is good and bad, right? Like, it's a little sensitive sometimes. You, I think the sensitivity is perfect on this. Oh, no, I think it is. Because you can go fast or slow. As long as you can do one at a time with precision. There's almost too few right now. Yeah, early level. We could have skipped. That's okay. Both, like, dominating them. As they come. Double shots. Fighting for power-ups, though. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Does anybody know if this supports two rotary controllers? I don't have two. Oh, could we make a second one? Could. <laughs> I, I think this would be the only game that supports two rotary controllers, that's true. though. It, it should. I would think. I don't see I don't any know. reason. I, I, I would think Jeff Minter would program that in because he's just that crazy. It's quite a complete game. With tons of options. Don't have two rotaries yet. <laughs> yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. Nobody's answered my question. Does anybody know if it supports two rotary controllers? Because the rotary controllers are not in the manual. It was a secret uh, option. I keep thinking I'm you're me, and I, I like know. I, I it, it's me too. it's messing me up a little bit. I don't know how they could have. Pink would have been better or something. Maybe not yellow and green. Yellow and green are very close, yeah. Um, yeah, I get very misplaced in my position well, sometimes. Especially since we're both going for everything because they're coming so slowly. So a game where you can play together yeah. and against each other. That's super I like awesome. That. Hey, Kev! Remember when you had a Jaguar? Is that who you got the Jaguar from? <laughs> I he, he thought that have, you were going to say. He didn't have his Jaguar, uh, unfortunately. I got some other systems from him, which I thank him for. Sadly, he didn't have his Jaguar. He owned every system ever. Oh, yeah. Yes. All Growing the up. super cool ones. Yeah. It's more of which system didn't he have. <laughs> Kev said, spend many hours on this. Kev says, yep, saving money? What's that? <laughs> he invested. Invested. It was an investment. In uh, systems that went down in value. <laughs> but later went up. Not much. Yeah, uh, everything goes down in value. 
Now, I think every system was worth more uh, when they're released than now. I'm so confused. I really want you to, like, stay on one side. Okay, I'll be on the left. No, 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 you that's don't good, have to. That's a good I idea, just, though. Uh... Oh, do we share? Stop dying. We share um, I'm lives. I'm very confused. Do You're we? You're on the right. Oh, I don't like right. that. Stay on the right, then. I don't like it either. Oh, can you get rid of spikes? No. Oh, yeah, you can. can okay, you? nice. Until I don't play the arcade very much, because I die immediately in the arcade. Immediately. Kev, what's one system that you didn't have that you did want to have? He had a Neo Geo, if I remember correctly, so oh, nice. I don't think he was hurting for choice. I'll stay in the left again. Well, that doesn't work. Yep. Oh, that uh, uh, shot. Oh, you triggered it. What happened? It, there was There's just one on they the were outside? right on. Yeah, they were coming oh, up to spikes. Ah. Wait, did you avoid the spikes? I did. Kev says, "I wish I got into PC earlier." Mm, mm. Yeah. yeah. I got into PC not not super early because my C64 lasted me a long time. Um, my first one was a 386, so that gives you an idea. A 386 computer. Yeah. Outside uh, of your Commodore. Yeah, it's, that was my first one. Ever, oh, PC, Commodore. I guess. PC. Yeah, 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 you're right. Unless you I take still, it literally, I still it's kind a personal of, computer. Yeah, yeah, like I still kind of think of PC as any computer, which is completely untrue. It's true, but uh, not not I, how it's used. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we got to stop playing this game. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll just play it all night. It's yeah, because we're back up with our lives again. It is so good. It is so good. And with a rotary controller, it's it fantastic. is 100,000 times better. Right. Oh yeah, C64 would have been great. It was. I don't regret. Mm -hmm. If I had an Atari um, computer, I would have been just as happy, for mm -hmm. sure. Because n now, playing with it and having and owning a, an Atari computer... Um, okay, I'll yep. <laughs> I, I'm really... Like, Atari computers are amazing. Mm -hmm. So were C64s. And they had both had strengths and weaknesses. Okay, we are done that uh, super awesome game and we're going to move into the next one uh, which is on the rebooted cartridge so let's load that up um, so the next game is downfall OG plus which is included on the rebooted cart okay and this is by Lawrence Stavely uh, Cyrano J Atari uh, and this came out in 2021 on the rebooted cart. Um, probably really well. Have a good night, Carl G. Night, Carl G. Catch the rest later. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so reboot released Downfall in 2011, mm -hmm. Downfall Plus on cartridge in 2014, and then Downfall OG Plus in 2021 on the rebooted cart. Um, so this is a multi-cart. Menu is very sensitive to the spinner. The rotary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 I almost had it. Go the other way. No, oh, no. <laughs> okay, this is fun. Never mind the game. This is the game. Just the selection screen. No, 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 go back! Okay. Yes. Um, Which it doesn't going behave. to? Let me use this. Oh, it's the second one on the left. On the second one on the left? I think you might be able to use the B, the A and C, maybe? Try that. I press B, because that'll start right on. Okay, maybe you can press it as it goes by. Oh! Oh, oh my god, this is crazy. This is a menu challenge stage. <laughs> oh my gosh, it, it spins indefinitely. I, I don't get, to get it. I was able to get this going earlier. Just 
even know which way it's going? It's because... It's crazy! The spinner is hooked up to the left and right control. And it sends... Um, oh my goodness, it's crazy. A number of <laughs> lefts and rights. Yeah. Each turn. Because it's a, it's binary encoded. Oh, no. You're gonna have to use yours. Can you not use yours? No, no. I'm gonna have to unplug it and switch, switch, switch. When them. your analog wants to digital. Oh. Digilog. <laughs> no. Come on. I just need a one. Oh, I need to go to the. No, it, 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 it. You have to plug in the other one. I think. I don't think so. There. <gasps> Magic! <laughs> it's because um, what this does, it's a sequence of 16 yeah. um, different bits. It's like, and, and it's encoded in left and right. Gotcha. So it sends left, left, right, left, right, right, like <laughs> things like that. So that's why it's going to. Da, 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 da. Mm. <laughs> Cyrano goes, just swap the controllers. <laughs> okay. So Fruits. there we go. Rotary. It sensed it as soon as I spun it. Oh, wonderful. So you know this game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, Lord Stapley. Okay. Game code, game design. Very nice. So this one is very sensitive to movement. Okay. So you need tiny movements. And dead. And dead. So I'll read all about it. So this is the original release information for it from the first free downfall version. Oh my gosh. Oh. James, this is... You'll get used to it. No. I played this for Which half an hour yesterday. Which way do you turn yesterday. it to go right? You turn right. No. It's yeah. not what was happening. I'm turning. No, you're doing too much. You have to, it's very sensitive. You will get used to it. Oh, you just go slightly right and left. Just slightly oh, right and left. okay. You, it takes a bit to get used to it. It took me about um, five minutes. Well, maybe less than five minutes. Five minutes to kind of perfect my movement with it. The Taguar, uh, Atari Jaguar developers uh, reboot of Jaguar have announced today the release of Downfall, a freely available game for the Atari Jaguar game console. The game was released at the AC 2011 party in France this weekend. Downfall is inspired by the games Spike Goes Down and Man Goes Down, both created by ah. Alex Herbert. Man Goes Down. Mango. Such a good game. Never finished. Alex, come back to us. Alex, finish our game. Uh, the object uh, of Downfall is to guide your character through the never-ending chasm uh, on a series of platforms, carefully avoiding rising above or dropping below the viewable area of the screen. Reboot have released the game for free, download in ROM, BGL, and CDI format. The source code of the game is also freely available to download from the Downfall website. And this is about Downfall Plus, which came out on cartridge by itself. Downfall Plus is the cartridge remix of our much beloved game Downfall. It incorporates a backdrop that was created using the same tool used to generate the Atari Falcon version backdrops with some additional post processing. There are new sprites, on cart high score saves, a website high score code generation, a new title screen, and title music by our friend and Atari scene musician Overload505 slash checkpoint. Uh, the game features a version of the Falcon game Hyco Hi Mode, game's Hyco Mode supports rotary controllers and pro controllers so downfall plus introduced the rotary controller support i'm getting better at it now mm. it's it's a challenging game with it rotary is. controller Oof. i don't it know is. if i would recommend this game with the rotary no, controller no it's interesting to play it does work and you can get used to it but i still think that normal the left and right works a little yeah, bit better i agree work but yeah very good parallax in the background especially oh, if it beautiful. trailing off into darker and darker so it doesn't interfere with what you're seeing sweet nice ah. uh are there sensitivity adjustments in the option menu Ooh, that would be good nope. Ooh, no, oh no you just missed it oh right off the edge balloons would make you float more yes. to talk uh yes but you can read it oh Press start. Oh, okay. Uh, too fast. 
Um, Downfall, originally a quickly created game uh, made under two weeks as a last minute AC 2011 party release where it's supplied in a number of formats so people, uh, many people as possible get to play it and later we also released the source code later that year. GGN support uh, ported the game to the Atari Falcon 030 computer, Falcon 30. The port took advantage of the Falcon's extra memory, uh, 4 to 14 megabytes versus Jaguar 2, and hard disk space allowed for massively enhanced background visuals. The gameplay remar remained largely unaltered, but the port allowed for optional power pad rotary control, somewhat experimental. CJ approved of the enhancements and vowed to one day remix Downfall with prettier, more Falcon-like visuals as Downfall became a game most requested in cartridge form and kick-started a glut of similar games and other platforms. We kept that idea on the back burner until recently. It was clear people loved the simple little games. That was for the Downfall Plus. Oh, you're getting pretty bad now. No, I'm not really. Um, and so, now brings us to... Um, Downfall um, OG Plus okay. version. So if you want to read that, sure. And I will play. So just right out of Downfall OG Plus, the object of Downfall is to guide your character through a never-ending chasm on a series of platforms, carefully avoiding rising above or dropping below the viewable area of the screen. You already said this. On the journey ah. downwards, you oh. can collect fruits to increase your score along with some power-ups to assist you activate by the B button on your controller as described below. You can get a jetpack, you can get balloons, and you can get jump shoes. Ooh, jump shoes. Uh, Downfall, Downfall OG Plus contains all the game enhancements found in Don Downfall Plus, but in the graphic style, um, style of the original freeware release featuring rotary controls, um, connect and spin a rotary controller on the title screen to auto detect, pro controller um, shoulder buttons allow left right movement as well as the D-pad, Heiko mode trippy. Go Heiko in a second. Okay, I don't know what that is. Is it like right inverted? It. I don't know what button it is. What is it? What's the button for it? The button to what? Heiko mode. Oh, no, no, you set it. Oh, you set it. Oh, I think it's in the menu before you set yeah. it. Yeah. I think it's like pause or something. part of the menu. Ooh, shoes. Ooh, you can jump. I don't know what that hell is. Jump. Ooh. I guess you can get across to another platform. Yeah. Possibly on the same level. Oh! Damn it! Oh, here we go. Uh, there it is. Sensitivity adjustments. So this is Heiko mode. <gasps> cool! Trippy. We're in Lamasoft territory now. <laughs> Oh Ooh. god, oh, oh my god, oh my god, no! Save me! Invisible platform that didn't materialize. Oh, I love it. This is Mouse Trails. Um, I was gonna say, it's like, um, oh, um, what is it, Lemmings, where they're all oh, together right yes. at the beginning? When a hundred Lemmings come out all lemmings, at once. hundred Lemmings, yeah. You are jumping off cliffs, so. True, this is, this, this is true. Looks like the Matrix. Yep, when he's, uh... Backwards. Oh, it's showing rotary F. F is the sensitivity, so you can adjust oh, the sensitivity. Oh, thank you. That's good, because this is very sensitive. Like you can... Yeah. Oh, come on. I hate when you're like, ah, oh, is there going to be a platform I can get to? Yes. Yeah, Apples? Yeah, yeah. Look at all this multi-threading. There was a trippy mode in the Atari collection for PS2. Some of the games look cool oh. in it. Some were pretty much unplayable. <laughs> Too <laughs> trippy. Cyrano says, I can't remember how, though. I'll go look at the code. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh my god, that was so close. Yeah. Oh, says, this mode looks, aw looks awesome. And the poll map bot, the poll is now closed, so you'll have to uh, update on that whenever, oh, yes. whenever we're done. Well, I want to check out the sensitivity, and then we'll check out the... Uh, Results. I don't think it changed. Oh, oh we made it. Level? To pipe level. It's uh, Mario pipe level to go yeah. with the Mario movie. That's right. How was the Mario movie? Thumbs oh, Carl, up, I think Carl G oh, uh, left. has left. Uh, oh, battery. Oh. oh, that's helpful if I am running out of space. I think you, you lose it, at least in the other, the 2600 version, you lose it when you hit your head on the ceiling. Oh, really? When you're um, jetpacking. 
that's the correct terminology. Jetpacking. Let's go jetpacking. <laughs> Have you jetpacked today? Is this trail mode in the free version or just the cart version? Uh, oh, with, trail mode, the Heiko mode. I uh, think it's in the cart, but... This cart version and the previous cart version as well, not the free version. Ooh, Cyrano says C and A on the menu okay. for, for adjusting the Excellent. sensitivity. thank you. Try that yeah, let's try it first. I'm going to grab a drink. I'm coming right back. Kitties, entertain the crowd. Oh, yep, yeah, he's like, sleepy time. Oh, this is actually... Oh, no! As I was about to say, actually really good with the with the uh, rotary dial. I got used to it. So, oh, G. Oh, oh, okay, up and down. So let's set it to A. See what that is about. Oh, A is very not sensitive. I <laughs> can barely move. You have to really spin it. So let's put it in between G and A. Let's try E. I wanted a bit more sensitive than me. He's pretty good, actually. I think I'm gonna go one more sensitive. Yeah, there's A through something on the menu. It's a cat, there's a cat, it's a cat. I know, I'm not gonna sit on him, I can see him. I didn't know. He's a chunky cat, go. aren't you? Go F. F. What does it go up to? Oh my god. Okay, we might as well do the extremes to see how crazy it gets. Let's try P. Hi. Oh, it's so sensitive. I'm rubbing my toe. Oh. Oh, actually, this is pretty good. You can yeah. go sideways quick. Can you? Is it oh, more sensitive not. or less? Super sensitive. It's super sensitive. Down. Let me try that one again, actually. You missed the mango, says Vitoko. Mango. Mango. Oh, no. I'm going to put it down. Yeah. Hi. Hi. E? Oh, he's purring. Are you happy? You lost. But he's still happy. Got lots of treats. You're so purry. Covered in cats right now. There's one here. There's one here. Yeah. Hi. You're going to run away with uh, one no. of the toys? Oh, my God. Don't run away with the toys. Oh, he's so purry. I I would like some treats. Look at, the, look at this guy. Oh, okay. he's meowing. Oh, no. Hey, no. Hey, 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 hey. No, I don't worry. I've got my eye on him. I'm just going to steal him, one of those. What are you doing? He's going to get mad. What are you Play doing? Play one more. <laughs> oh, you, bu you be nice. Nice. Don't bug him too much. Oh, that was a bad one. Run away with the toys. No, don't listen to the chat. <laughs> don't listen to Prow7. He's looking at them. I can see him look at them. have to wait an hour. That's how this game is played. To the pipes, at least. I do like the Heiko. What is that? What does that mean? What is Heiko? What is that uh, in reference to? Kittens! Watch the kittens. He's all over the place. He's uh, looking for your next uh, Atari game to play. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're playing this one right now, kittens. Yeah. Go, 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 go! Uh, Okay, you get to play one more. Me? Okay. Down. Watch that cat. Gonna have to pick up Rebooted eventually. Yeah, it's got a lot of really great um, Really great games. Really great on games. It. Is this at the higher sensitivity or? Uh, you... it's a little. It's it's a little bit less. <gasps> no. Sensitive than the one that than we started with. Than what we started. Okay. Down. I like the 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 trailer mode. It's fun. It does take a little getting used to the record. A little bit. Clean. In a way, it's a little bit more challenging, but not in a bad way. Sweet. Oh, we don't wait too oh, long. Oh, I waited too long. Okay. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Sprite is not respecting the gamer bubble at all. No. no. He's a very disrespectful cat. In your face. <laughs> Okay, the next game we're going to be playing mm -hmm. is also a reboot game. Rebooteroids, which is Asteroids, mm -hmm. which is Excellent. meant, well, not meant to be played with a rotary controller because originally it was buttons, left mm -hmm. and right buttons. 
We're here. Party time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. Cats, cats, cats. Woo, thank you, Nostalgic 26. Party time for kittens. Let's switch over to the cat cam. Yeah. Oh, Atari is like, meh. Sprite is like, bring it on. <laughs> bring it on. Sprite, not as hardwired to respond to that. I don't know. Sprite's Sprite? pretty excited now. He does he does get Atari. into the catnip. He's older. Yep. He's, he's a... The baby cats, they he's don't really get now. into the catnip. But as they get older, nah, that's all they want to do. Oh, he just rolls and makes a mess. Oh, <laughs> it's all over the floor. Atari, are you going to come over? Sprite's going to rub his rub all his face into it. Ooh. Look at that cat. Look at him go. He does like the catnip. Yeah. You getting excited about the nip, kitten? Oops, I forgot to change the graphic. Nobody oh, no. told me. Nobody told me. Okay. And, um... Well, it's loading. Cyrano said something. Oh. About um, changing the sensitivity in rebooteroids, yeah. which I think will help quite a bit, because uh, I was having a little trouble with it. Uh, yeah, you have to go back a bit. That's okay. He can maybe type it again. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> Tar's in training for the next round. He's got to keep his head clear for next treat time. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Stay yeah. focused. Yeah. Stay focused. It's a big ROM. Four meg ROM. Yeah. Also, change the gamma. Everyone streams it too dark and you can't see the backdrops. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we'll see how it is when it loads up. I do keep it oh. fairly dark because I like it dark and not seeing gray. But um, He's covered in catnip now. Atari, can you put a little bit down for Atari? Atari. He didn't even make a move. So no, but he doesn't know it's there. He does like it. Okay. Atari. <laughs> Sprite's my paw. Atari! I'll bring it to him. No, Atari, come over. Come to the camera. Oh, the... I don't think Sprite realizes all his catnip is on the back of his head. <laughs> yeah. Here, you do it. Okay. You know what that is. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, and it's a good you. time to show... Not you, little high kitten. No. Here. Show the controller. There you go. There you go. There you go. There's, There's the there. spinner. <laughs> Realized I didn't show that on the camera. Yeah. Thank you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Give it to him. Sprite uh, is dominating it. There you go. This is all the Rebooteroids by Reboot. Yeah, there we go. Good kitties. You get nice and high on that catnip. So, go into the options, right? Rotary rate. Oh, I see. Right? That's what we want to do. Turn it down, like into the middle, or? Uh, let's go middle. Go then middle we, for now. Then we'll we can see. figure it out. Yeah. Um, there you go, kitty. Rotary trim? Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, God. Background Oh, that's what, we, that's what he said to change. Down, or? I don't know. Or up. In the middle? I thought he wanted up. gamma up. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll keep it just okay. there. Trim is sensitivity. Rate is how much the ship turns, and trim is how often the controller is pulled. Sorry. Uh, rate is how much the ship turns. Okay. So we change that to middle. Trim is how often the controller is pulled. Okay, so we want that to be fairly Trim is often. sensitivity. Okay, so yeah. let's put them at the middle. Yeah, then we can adjust it again. Yeah. You gonna, you gonna start? Um, well, I have things to read, okay. so... A whole bunch of stuff in here. Jactopia, BJL mode. Cheats! Cheats! Uh, so there's a co-op game as well, mm. so we can play that. Uh, so I will just start okay. your game. We'll read a little bit about this. Um, so, Rebooteroids was first posted about November 14th, 2016. It's a 4-meg game, as you saw. 
Um, Albert posted this about it. Rebooteroids is a new take on an arcade classic for the Atari Jaguar. In development for over Get six ready. years. What was that loud? Um, hyperspace. Oh, press what? different buttons to shoot. There, you there go. we go. UFO detected. Now, I think there's something wrong with my setup because pressing the A button starts Range you moving extended. a bit. If you notice that. Wave complete. When you press fire, it like goes. So I think I might have a, um, something wired incorrectly. Voice reminds me of Super Hexagon. How was the spin rate? Fine. Ah! Not very. Sea life passing by. Um, Rebooteroids features 100 unique levels plus 10 Combateroids levels from multiplayer head to head. You can choose from five gameplay modes, including Skirmish Mode, whereby randomly generated levels of increasing difficulty challenge the player. Enjoy the original soundtrack by 505 and MSG Reservoir Gods while you fight your way through each wave. Double damage. Shoot it. I think you have to shoot it. No, oh, you have, you to, have get to get it. it. It's coming around. Twin shot. Twin shot. Nice. Yeah, like the reverse shot better. Though. Oh, it shoots forward and Wave backwards? Complete. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that one you have to, like, aim not directly at it? Probably one on higher trim looking at that. Yeah, it's pretty slow moving, isn't it? When you're um, spinning. Well... I just find the, the momentum a little slow, but it's you. Well, I guess it's not bad. I'm sure detected. Asteroids by way of Tempest 2000. Nice. There you go. Your float terminated. Uh, gameplay. The EWS is a small, highly maneuverable test ship equipped with a uh, basic rapid-fire cannon. Your test ship is also fitted with a state-of-the-art hyperspace engine, which, if it was working, would be capable of jumping the craft vast distances. However, due to damage, it is currently only the ability to jump short range and without navigation lock, so you have no way of knowing where you're you will pop back into the normal space. Use your controller to rotate the EWS left and right, thrust to avoid uh, colliding with objects, and most importantly, fire to blast everything in sight. You can also hyperspace to a random location to escape imminent destruction. But there's no guarantee you'll reappear far fr free from danger. Bonus power-ups will be dropped after certain rocks are destroyed. These power-ups will enhance your ship in the following ways. Double damage, twin shot, range extended, and rear shot. Uh, every five waves in the Rebooteroids arcade mode, not in skirmish, you will get a bonus round. Uh, shoot the solid rocks in order, and you will get a bonus life. So you have to do one, two, three, four. Bonus one. Wave approaching. Uh, not bonus life. You'll get a bonus. Bonus, oh, bonus life. Oh, hit the solid walk. Oops. Solid. Didn't mean to do that. Oh no. I did. They weren't numbered. Ah, sorry. My bad. My bad. I didn't. Ah! I always forget you have the warp. zoom, the warp. Uh, if you hit a normal rock, the rocks, and the round will end without any bonus. Okay, I'm gonna turn the trim up and then I'll play. Okay. And then we'll play two player. If you keep moving, the ship will turn green and you get more points while green. How do I go back? How do I delete? There's an enter. I think you're screwed. Maybe that left arrow? That's your name forever. Your name is now TN, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow. Left arrow. There is no back. Oh, the button would be back. Right? There we go. I'm like, oh, there's got to be a back in there somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, Cyrano. Oh, I, I got it just as... Just. Oh. Oh, I went too far back. But just as Cyrano probably said it. Thank you. The hardest part of the game right there. There. Somebody can <laughs> submit my score. Uh, oh, 10. Someone does super hexagon for this controller. Or I'll buy a Jaguar, oh, says RC7. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> oh, super hexagon will be so good. Yeah. So we want this more sensitive. 
try three quarters. Fingertipping a knob, you can comfortably rotate a knob about 90 degrees, so ideally you'd get, be able get to get ready. full ship rotation with 90 degree knob rotation approximately. Oh yeah, this that is makes sense. much better for spinning. Yeah? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, a little better. You can't spin it too fast, otherwise it skips. It's like, oh, you meant to go way far? Well, let's get to the middle UFO of the screen. Detected. Watch out. Oh, right into you. Rock beat spaceship. Rock beat spaceship, yeah. <laughs> There's very <laughs> silly little things in the bottom. Nice. Come up. <laughs> There's something wrong with my controller, so watch as I press fire. Oh, it does curve. Yeah. I, I like it. I think mm, it's I like, like it. random glitchy, I like it. but it's my controller, so I need to figure it's that out. It's your controller. I think it's because either I have soldered two points together. Double shot coming your way. Yeah, oh, I have to get it. You have to, yeah, you have to pick them up. I need it. Give it. Give it. Double damage. You have to Double damage. Nice. Ah. Yeah. Let's get back to the center. Warning. It's too scary on the edges. I gotta get rid of that UFO. RC-70 needs alignment. Yeah. <laughs> it needs alignment. Um, or the board is pressing into that button, and, and it's like... I don't know what's going on. But I, I think it's like wired into... It's grounding out, I think, possibly. Nice. Oh, double shot. Which may be good or bad. I don't mind the double shot. I like the... I got Backward the shot. back and front right. shot. I, that I really like. Shots with recoil. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. The um, graphics are beautiful. Just gorgeous. The background with the hexagons. Mm -hmm. That's everybody drooling for super hexagon. Which I do have on uh, Vectrex. Which we will be having a Vectrex day coming up very soon oh, now that I have, gotta have Vectrex an day. arcade controller for my Vectrex. Also, be having a Coleco detected. Very special Coleco day. Which I don't want to say too much right now about. Very, very, very special. Very excited about it. So the two non. Whatever. whatever. Oh yeah, I did. Dual shot. Dual shot's good. Doesn't go as far as no, the extended one, but I think I don't know if you can double up, like extended Wait, plus double. I think you it just replaces what you have, but I'm not sure. It's very cool. This is really, really good. The graphics are amazing, and the fact that there's a spinner. Did anybody hack the 2600 you know, asteroids with this with a, a driving controller? Or is that an option in, um... UFO detected. Um, I was wondering how Vectrex has an RGB adapter. <laughs> uh, there, no. there actually is. Is there? Yeah. There is an RGB adapter for it. Um, you have to do extensive mods. Yeah, you have to replace the tube. Oh, first come of all. on. Why would you replace you the tube? Detected. Yeah. No. No, or no, hook, no. or it's hook, not a Vectrex anymore. or hook your board up to a normal television. It has to be a color display. Um, then you have to mod the tube, I believe. You just hit oh. the solid rock. You just have to keep. Is there a timeout? How many times do I need to hit it? There we go. Like oh. a number of times. I swear I hit it. Um, but there are games that are based on um, vector intensity, and that dictates mm. the color. So it's not a joke. There's real color Vectrexes out there. But they're really expensive to make because you have to wreck a Vectrex. No, don't wreck a Vectrex. Just get some really cool, um, what do you call them? The gels you put in front. Yeah, those are, um. those are simulate color. May I post a link? Says Nostalgic. Uh, Go right if it's ahead. relevant, yeah. Yeah. Talking nice. about Vectri. Not spammy. Vectri, yeah. Vectri, yeah. Definitely. Star in the night. Let's do it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. oh I did quite press it in time. Rock beats spaceship. I love that. That's a great one. How come my shots are taking, like, double to kill things? I no. guess uh, there is a double weaker. strength. Yeah, uh, and also, up. I think when you get the power-ups, ah, oh, oh, you need to move. Too slow. <laughs> I like the center. 
Oh, is it I over? I like the center too. Okay. I think I died on the same level. I did? Yep. <laughs> okay, let's play a dual player. Okay. I think the sensitivity is good, so go to... Um... I didn't do that. Oh, did yeah. I? Yeah. Oh, I did. So, co-op. C or A. Oh, skirmish? Skirmish co-op? Compatorites. Oh my god, so many things. Huh. How do I a? go up? Nope. Or... Nope! Oh well, playing Combatoroids. Where are Combatoroids? <laughs> uh, best of 25. Let's change that. I can't. You must do it. I can't either. B or A. There you go. Oh. Flip around. Yeah. B. He's going to start it, isn't it? No. Begin the game as an option. Infi oh, 25, I guess. Q to a kill. Sure. Next in sequence. Sure. Round time. Sure. Let's do it. Get ready. Asteroids DC Plus. Oh, nice. Okay. So, am I trying to kill you? I don't know. This is like um, Gunfighter. Is Ooh, it? We're just a little too far away with our. Ooh. Oh, no. Are we not fighting each other? Is it just score? No, there's no score. Oh, I did kill you. Yeah. Okay. Wave complete. You got me once. It, it, we oh, are... it is. It's fight oh. to the... And it changes every 30 seconds. Okay, so there's a bunch of rocks to begin with. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still figuring out my controls here. Hold on. Okay. Oh, as she kills me. No, I just took me a second to... I was hitting the wrong buttons, which is not helpful at all. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay. Oh. No, no, I'm... Double kill. Double kill. Or do I reset too? Wave complete. Out of time. So we die from hitting asteroids as well. Oh. And we both reset? Yeah, we both reset so that I can't hang around and, and camp. What are, wait, what are you? I'm just accelerating and shooting you. I you're know, I know. I'm not turning. What's going on here? Okay, figure out. crashed into a meteor like ten Wait, times. Sleep. I like that. Ah, ah, ah! Oh my god. Oh, the spawn point is right next to each other. That's dangerous. Hitting the wrong buttons! What <laughs> buttons am I hitting? I don't know. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no warp. Because that's too easy. Right, for warping all the time. to 14. Oh, we can still kill each other. What? When it's time out. That's wrong. That's just wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, I keep running into it. I think my best interest is to keep the asteroids out. Maybe not. It's hard to tell who hits who because we you both, both reset. You both reset, yeah. Each is tied. Wow. Ooh, screen up there. I've seen that in a huh? It's usually modern systems take care of. <laughs> One more hit. Oh no. It's best of 25, isn't it? Oh. Is it? Game point for you. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job of this though. Oh, you beat me. Yeah, <laughs> 24 to 25. Woo! <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> it's warm in here. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now we have one more to play. Hash to exit. Oh, man. Now, how do you go up? You yes. can go down. A and C for up and down, but A doesn't oh. seem to be... Is A working? I was having trouble with it. Oh, it was working for a second then. You should get a Constellation cat treat. Oh, oh, I want a cat treat. I don't think you like them. 
Also, no. you're, you know, like a vegetarian, so I'm not sure no. the salmon would go over well. No. no. Skirmish co-op? I don't know what skirmish is, but we'll play it. Skirmish. This is co-op. We're not killing Get each ready. other. Get ready. Oh, why am I tiny? Oh. Oh, I'm the, I'm the shooter. And you're the steerer. Oh, I see. It's a tank turn. Why are you going so crazy? Why are you going so crazy? So I'm driving, but you're shooting. You're choosing yeah. the direction you're shooting. Yeah, so it's independent shooting. So you just need to stay away from the asteroids. Ah, yes. No, we got it. We got oh, it. we did. I thought I... You just need to stay away from the asteroids yeah. and pick up the bonus stuff. I'll just do the shootings. Stay oh, away from them. I'm trying to. <laughs> UFO oh, you're on the edge. I can't see what's coming. Ah, ha, ha. Warning. Ah. Definitely be easier with the spinner uh, for shooting. <laughs> yeah. But moving is good with the spinner too. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It should almost be the opposite. Double damage. Don't head right into the asteroids. I can't defend that quick. Get your speed up and turn green for more score. Mm. How green? Oh, oh pretty. Oh, it stays green for a little bit. It does. It's very scary. Green. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, your score. Double. Double damage. Destruction. Oh, there's <laughs> That would help. I always, I usually remember to try that when I'm playing a game, is to hold down the fire button. But sometimes, you know, this is a game that would benefit greatly from rapid fire. UFO detected. How about you? Rapid fire double shot is. It doesn't have the strength, but it has the uh, massive strength. There we go. Wave complete. Asteroids arcade was left and right, and thrusts, and hyper jump. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't know what we're about. Which I can see working pretty well. Spinner. Spinner. This is, this is, this is, this is, ah! Oh, it's not good to be on the edges. Yeah. No, it's very dangerous. Just trying to get some the speed up. Ooh, this. I just hold it to the right, and we're just a oh. running turret. Oh, death. Like that. Running turret of death. The turret of death. Turret of death. It's always metal bands. <laughs> yes. They have the best names. We've had a good, a couple of good name suggestions this show. Oh my god. Oh. This Dang might be good. Oh my god. You're dead. Yeah. yeah. I've been, I've been pretty good fast stuff. and loose with my. <laughs> that's a great. That's, that's a great really asteroid. Fun. That's really fun. Especially with the fun. two player and the rotary control. Great job, Cyrano J. Yeah, excellent. It says, features one or two players, 100 unique levels, five gameplay modes, supports Jaguar game pad and rotary controllers, settings and high score safe to cartridge, share your high scores online with QR code, uh, original music by 505 MSG Reservoir Gods, customized controls for each player, utility menu, including Jagtopia, BJL load, cheats, and jukebox. 
Um, arcade, standard. Co-op is above, but player one will control the movement. Probably one player. Skirmish, random levels. So we just played Skirmish. Skirmish, which so is fun. So it's random levels. Every it's level is random, but you only get 30 different. seconds each. Was no, it? that no, was that the Combateroids, yeah. which is also pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, okay, so we're on to the last game of the night, which is Kobayashi Maru Redux, which is on the rebooted as well. So great value getting this rebooted cartridge. So we have to deal with the menu again. So we get an extra bonus game once more. Strange sound song. <laughs> It's not quite Have You Played Atari Today. It's no. like a different tune of that. Da, 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 da. But, it's, but it's different there. Yeah. Okay, Kabayashi Maru. Right. One, oh, 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 it's the rocket ship to the left. I don't right. understand how you... It's not meant for me. There. The... You can't stop. How do you stop it? Every slight turn sends a signal of left and right movements. But stops on its own every time you move it. Oh, almost! It's like playing a slot machine. Don't, don't press don't. it too much because it won't stop. No, but I'm barely touching it. Yep. And it's going right to the end. Oh, almost. Off. Uh. Just don't, don't touch it multiple times. I, I don't just know. one at a time. No, but it just keeps going. If you touch it, it just goes right to the end and right back. No. The only way to get it to stop is to go backwards. And it goes it goes the other way sometimes, too. I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand how how to get it to stop. It's not that's not how it works. It doesn't stop and start. No, I know. It sends a signal. I know. I get what you're saying, oh, but I don't know how to get it then? to stop, like, moving. It's almost random where it will... To our eyes, it is random. We don't even see it. It is a menu mini game. Exactly. It is a menu mini Spinner mini game. It always I... stops there, and it yeah. always stops at the other one. It's don't very think bizarre. I, I may not be able to get it on that one. I don't think you can. That's the downfall. Give it a spin. Oh, oh. Come on. Cyrano, you could have swapped controllers by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it okay to swap controllers and then swap back? Well, it's on because I have to do that anyway. Yeah. So I guess shake the controller. Oh. I do it all the time. <laughs> There's no five volts going through something and destroying anything. I tried interesting content either way. <laughs> Thank I you, RC7. <laughs> okay. Who's that at the top? Is that PH? Oh my goodness. Who did that? Uh, Kobayashi Maru Redux. Um, it is a port of 1982's arcade game Time Pilot. Oh, see, I moved the rotary and it immediately recognized it. Yes, because it's like, oh my god, you did left rights a bunch of times, I'm guessing. Um, do you know what the Kobayashi Maru is? It's a ship, isn't it? No. It is a training exercise in the Star Trek franchise designed oh, to test yes, the yes. care. It was in the new movie, too. Yeah. Uh, first new movie. Uh, test the character of Starfleet Academy cadets in a no-win scenario. Kobayashi Maru test was first depicted in the 1982's film Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, since been referred to and depicted in numerous other Star Trek media. Interesting. Um, okay, so the first version of this game was put out in 2011, November 22nd. That's the free version. Okay. Uh, the CD version, uh, called the final version, uh, not final because this one came out, uh, came out November 26, 2012. Mm -hmm. And this is the Redux version of this. Um, in uh, May 1st, 2021. 
Um, so you can go for it. You spin, you shoot. Uh, rotary trim value is three. Try it to start. Sure. Let's do it. Holy hell. Sorry, guys. Every game is a little bit different. Spin and shoot and spin and shoot. And get that guy. Don't can shoot you, him at all. Can I accelerate? Nope. You're constantly moving. There's so no there's, stopping. There's, there's no accelerating. There's just shooting, then. Shooting and turning. Run into them. Definitely run into the guys with parachutes. Yeah, but you have to get under them, don't you? Yeah, it's challenging. So, this is apparently, I just looked it up, in CD version of this game, the final version, is still for sale at uh, Good Deal Games. If you oh, wanted the nice. CD version of it. If you have, happen to be very rich and uh, only a jag over the CD. There's the big boss. Don't run into him, but shoot him. Oh, your name is D D D D D D D D D. Um, let's see what notes I have. So the original free version. This is the information. Reboot of Jaguar are proud to present their latest freely available game for the Atari Jaguar game console, written to utilize a new Raptor game engine. Kobayashi Maru is our version of an Atari favor from the 1980, early 1980s. Use your rotary controller or regular joystick pad to steer your warp ship. Getting there. Uh, in this arcade space shooter, battling countless drones and huge boss craft in the ever tougher waves of attack. RG7E says, Tanya, D D D D D D D D O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> the reboot version is much upgraded and updated. Uh, you mean this one? Yes. Um, I think I have the information of what has been updated. It's a gorgeous background. The uh, clouds kind of overlooking a top down three quarters view of like a mountain range. It's a gorgeous sunset orange color. Um, Featuring subtle use of the Jaguar's cry graphics capabilities, background graphics blend together as you tear around in the upper atmosphere over four worlds. Head over to the Kabayashi Maru download page to obtain the full game. Um, so this is about the final version. Reboot of Jaguar, uh, reboot of Jaguar and RGCD are pleased to announce the imminent release of Kabayashi, Kobayashi Maru Final. It is an updated and fine-tuned version of Reboot's freely released game of a year ago. The game is our version of a boss. Uh, this version has updated graphics, new sound effects, web scores, and of, and of course it supports memory track game saves. saves. Memory track games. Um, the physical copy comes with cellophane wrapped in a standard DVD box, full color printed inlay, and full face printed glass mastered CD direct from the factory, 100% professionally produced in the UK. And then the Redux version on the rebooted cart, which we're playing. Uh, artwork is completely redesigned by Ander Lex, and an additional level is added. So I guess that cool. brings it to five levels. So we can make it past two. Oh. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> That's why they're like, uh, by the way, delete. <laughs> DDDD is the sound the shots make. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Is this game only winnable if you reprogram it? Yes, you have to know how to hack the code to reprogram it to win the game. You found out the secret. You can't tell the other cadets, RC7E. How's the uh, oh, rotary? Good. It, it, it takes Two a bit of getting issue, but it's good. Two cents not sensitive enough. There's no, I think it's good. I it, You just, yeah, it takes a bit of getting used. Tanya DDDD O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> you have to need an apple as well. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Just to look cool. Hi, little black kid. Oh, you didn't beat me. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> no, that's so, my old score up there, too. Should I go higher sensitivity? Or you were totally oh, fine? I was fine. Maybe higher. Okay, Maybe higher. We'll try four. four. Oh, that's really speedy. Is it? But Good? No. Good? Uh, too sensitive? Uh, might be too sensitive, actually. I'm going to die. One less. Three would have been good. What was it at? Three? It was before? at three. Okay. Come on, chips. You are Come back here. Fluffers. Yes, you are. You are such a bad kid. How many directions can you actually fly in? Well, when I get the sensitivity down, oh, I will tell you. 
Uh, C 16 or 32, good question. So uh, that's. Come on. There we go. Three. Yeah, that's pretty good. So one, two, three. Thank you, oh, Del Z01, for hey, following. Hey, Del Z01. Um, it's a lot of directions. Let me count. I already lost it. One, two, three, four. It's five for one turn, so that's four for 90 degrees. One. Sorry. Sensitivity is quite high. It is high. Uh, one, two, three. Five. I think I skipped one, four, five, five six. six. So five at least every 90 degrees? At least five. That's good. I think shoot him I, yeah. I'm gonna die because I died twice I you are you're, you're not unhappy with your score there I'm very unhappy all right I know I've gotten oh my god see yeah you automatically <laughs> 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 okay uh oh yeah Where's I wanted to point? put it down by one Two. That's what I have is this four. more sensitive no. no okay this is pretty good we're on three but I pressed the button so we might have been on two No, guy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I'm just after firing on everything. I stopped firing when I see the next dude, but he just came on the screen with his umbrella in hand. Oh, no! Oh, my last shot got him. Stop firing. We all, I'll fire downward. There we go. Yeah, you have to stop. Jeez, they're always from the top, so I if know. I fire downward, you're okay. I'll be okay. okay. I was watching a, a replay. Oh god. Yeah, you have to kind of go and towards in a way, him. and oh, you can. I think so. I was watching a replay, and I swear I was touching him, but he shoots bullets, so I'm still in danger. Shot. I don't it's know. I feel like if you ran right into him. Another guy. Help! Help! Oh, I love Time Pilot. It's so good. Did we play a Time Pilot on the Vectrex when we did our Vectrex day? A Time Pilot? Um, yes, we did. Vector Pilot. Yeah. Hey guys, I haven't seen the big ship yet, so I guess I'll just. Get your points! Get the points! Come on, kill boss, says Cyrano. God. God. Zero lives left. Yeah, but you, your, your score is very good because you've got three of those guys in a row. Ooh. No, I, I don't know what happened. Last score, high score. Oh, I should have entered it. Oh, I beat myself. 18,000. Somebody good. got 18,000. You don't get as many points when you shoot them. I don't think you do. It's, <laughs> it's not good. You really Even though it's harder to shoot catch the them. people you're trying to save. Save the people. Save the people. Save the people. Yeah. Come here. Is his sign floating? How is he staying up? This is a help sign that's somehow helping him stay afloat. Stay afloat. It's like a gigantic balloon. Yeah. A help balloon? Maybe. A square. A square help balloon. Oh, he's still oh, there. Oh, he's still. No, come back. I was here to save you. Oh, right into him. If you turn too quick, if you turn too quick you wrap around to. You do. Ship. 
you have to shoot a certain number of ships before it appears. That is not just a matter of time. Uh, timing. Nice. Very nice. Background of planes. This time pilot took place in uh, multiple eras okay. uh, throughout aviation history, uh, up into oops, up into like spaceship era. Gotcha. Um, so it's like World War One, then World War Two, and then mid century, mid uh, 20th century. Korean War, yeah. Vietnam War, kind yeah. of Yeah, and then modern, and then it went futuristic. Gotcha. Modern for the time. Modern for the 80, 81. For 81. Or whenever I said it then was. Then it went Top Gun. Then it, it went. That's right. Then it went. Top, modern Top Gun. Yeah. Ah. I'll take that score. Hmm. Still haven't seen the new Top Gun movie. Oh, I must watch be it on a platform now. somewhere. Uh, by now, yeah. I think. So I mean, many did... people have said it was good. So. Okay, uh, your turn. My then turn. I'll play one more. All right. Oh, such a good game, Cyrano. Oh my God, the value you get in rebooted the cartridge. Like this is. Is this on rebooted? Yeah, it's a. No, really. It's part of Goodness. a pack of games. This is a game in itself, like a standalone game. This is what games are in the rebooted Musada screen. trying to get the guys and so my score uh, sucks because the, the score is all in catching the um uh, frogger game uh pilots ejected yeah. uh, um, frogger game there's a sub oh no it's uh oh. the activision the show of the activision game This one, and then there's a lights out type game that switches on and off. Yeah, this one's a real nice one. You get like a map. Oh, God. And then planes flying over the map. Just in time at 20 minutes. No, you can't accelerate to him, which sucks. You're kind of, ah, and then, yeah, see, that's why I don't get them, because I find I end up killing myself. Oh. oh. Got a good score. I was doing well, though. I caught the second boss and Sequest. then died. Thank you. Sequest. Thick plane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it? A? B, to enter it. Oh. Double press. Got to debounce that joystick button. <laughs> Give it a little time. Not oh, too fast. So they're they're finicky things. They are finicky. Spinners. Things. 
Um, you have to treat them right. Let's see to Ellen. There we go. How'd you do? Let's see. Second place. Second place. Not oh, bad. I we've been doing controller. better. Oh. I know. Warm hands. Oh. Um, we've been doing better with the with the spinner. Oh my god. We definitely think that's the way to play this game for sure, for sure. Some games are just meant to have spinners, and that's why I you have to have the right controller to play the game. That's why I insist on having ugh, arcade joysticks for the game for every console. Because um, I'm better with arcade sticks, and it's a game for playing in, in the arcade. Um, and I prefer. I mean, a lot of people are just fine with D-pads. I mostly despise D-pads. Find they're inaccurate. You sometimes press the wrong direction, like a diagonal, yeah. and you don't mean to. Yeah, I don't like that about D-pads. Some D-pads yeah. are good and some are bad too. Like some, like I play like Nintendo D-pads. Yeah. I don't find those bad at all, Oof. and it, it might depend on the game controls too. It does. Uh, but I was ready to throw that Sega Master System controller across the room when we were playing with it. Although I think there was something wrong with it too. Uh, yes. Master System. It's a Master System. Oh, don't! Not too close. You have to start over? You have to start over shooting chips again. 3DL gamepad worst ever, says it's <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, there's some bad controllers out there. Seven. Controller in a lot of systems. An Atari show, so. <laughs> oh. Well, I was saying, asking how many do I have to get again after? Oh, a percentage show. after. Um, okay. Because it seemingly resets and you have to start over. Television is very high on my do not like list. <laughs> the, uh, Controller hate list. It's good for like racing games, like multi. Deep, I find D pads and and by proxy the proxy the television game pad good for things where you can drive or fly in any direction. It is not good for precision anything because you accidentally, I accidentally, constantly. Um, hit the wrong direction. Oh my oh. god, I'm playing again. D D D. D D D D D. D D D D fails again. Um. And it squeaked. Um, yeah, especially on the Intellivision. There was a good racing game, top down racing game on the Intellivision that worked wonders with the original. was saying, I think radio is the last failed fifth gen console I don't have. Um, Levels all up. Get away! Yeah. Away! You have my old 3D O, so it's, it's kept. That's great. Correct. Oh, God. Ah. God damn it! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down. Because it's pretty much reset. It's oh. <laughs> oh, it's still loud. I should have waited for Tanya's turn. Oh, that's okay. There we go. That's perfect. You guys don't need to hear the constant stream of bullets. You know what they sound like. Yeah, the volume was probably fine when it wasn't rapid fire. Oh, yeah, you probably played rapid fire. Just didn't notice. I should check every single game switch for um, volume levels. So they can vary drastically. There's no standards going on. Ah, ah. 
Is everybody independent? As long as it's not distorting, it's fine, right? Because why would why would anybody really care? Everybody turns down their volume and up their volume on every game to their own comfort comfort level. It's not like there's uh, compression on the Jaguar or 2600 or 7800. Okay, dude, gotta get to the next level. Oh, the ships. It's like Bosconian. <sighs> that was just me. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I did have a good round, though, the last one. Yeah, you got to the ship before, like, you didn't die. Well, didn't you, you try to get those guys. I don't, so I, I shoot uh... the little ships and get to the boss really fast because it's the number of ships you kill, not the number of guys you capture. The guys are, like, a bonus. But you get a lot of points for the guys. Oh, my God. You gonna try again? I got it. I got it. Come on. Dirt, dirt. If you do, I'm getting another glass of wine. So. Okay. <laughs> and then you'll really beat me at this. <laughs> yes. It's the last game anyway. We can play as long as we want. Good idea. It is warm. Still 20, still 26 here in the room. God, I almost crashed in again. I usually leave the game I want to play the most at the end. Because <laughs> either there's lots of time to play it, or I can pace um, the games. It's like, okay, I want to make it to the end game to play it. I can pace the games out so that I know how much time I have left. But with this, tonight, there's no real... Don't run directly away from bullets. No real big um, wall that we're hitting tonight, so that's good. Okay. Batty. Okay, 75% left, is that? Yep, 50%, good. 25. Good job. <sighs> Didn't die. Yay, I found a better controller for any everything than Anything the PS. but the PS4, which we use for... It's a great controller. It's a great controller, we use it on our PC as well. The PS4, don't uh, we? We do. Yeah. Uh, mm, is it a... PS4? I think it I, is. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, yeah we, we use, use our it. PS4 on our on our, on our um, PC. The PC we have hooked up to our TV. Yeah. Yeah. Works very well and it's a great That's controller. Great. Yeah. yeah. Um, for MAME, I use um, a control. Uh, what is it? Hako? Hako? Uh, those big chunky ones they use in tournament gaming. Oh, uh, yeah. It's USB. Um, and I use that for MAME gaming. Yeah, you. Yeah, that works really well. Because it's a lot of MAME stuff is arcade. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be because it's called multi arcade machine emulator, but it plays other things too. Yay! We get to see the next yeah. one. It looks like a shark, doesn't it? That plane. Yep. It's definitely a shark plane. Wouldn't be surprised if it had a nickname shark. I'm sure they're all. The easiest modeled. way to get them is to hit it from behind. Yes. Like that's how I got the other guy. There we go. You figured out the secret. You gotta hit it. It's gotta get past you, and then you hit it from behind. Yay! Level three. Woo! I mean, I on the big control stick, it's got a lot of buttons, like eight yeah. buttons, but um, doesn't have a rotary dial. No. Um, doesn't have a roller ball. Um, so it is missing a couple things, but generally don't Oof. play those games. Haven't got an extra life yet. Oh, almost, almost. Oh, just top. got it. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Definitely 20,000 is when you get an extra life. <laughs> what am I doing? I kept going in and out of its There's line of fire. There's definitely more shot on the higher levels, eh? Cool graphics on the transition. Graphics yes. are great. I love these backgrounds, the, too. They're so beautifully detailed. Look at the detailed. steampunk airships. Yeah. Gorgeous. I mean, airships in general are steampunk. But... Yeah, but... Oh, what am I doing? Sorry. Next round. Hope that uh, umbrella gets you to the ground safely. That's right. I kind of doubt it will. It was plummeting pretty quick. Oh, so let's oh. get behind him. Oh Ooh, my god. You're so lucky that was a oh, guy. He wraps around. Yeah, he does. He, he got, they, these guys kind of shoot on an angle. Oh god. They shoot on an angle, which is why it's good to hit them directly from behind, I yeah, find. I need to get um, further behind him, too. Yeah. Let him get a little past you and then get behind him. Yeah. 
You do keep pace so you can't go too yes. far behind. Kathy Mantidi, I agree. Um, seriously impressive transparencies with the background Gorgeous. floating in front of each other. Parallax. Kathy Mantidi, checking in late. What is oh. this game? Uh, this is Kobayashi Maru, uh, port oh, of no. time pilot that you can get on the rebooted cartridge. For the Jaguar. Uh, for the Jaguar from Reboot. Fine folks. Have you of which Cyrano J is in the chat. Mm -hmm. He does, uh, I believe, all the coding for Reboot. I think. Oh, we got an extra life. Every 20? Okay, so far. Usually it caps out. It's not oh. every 20, but. Okay. Nice. Survive. Survive. He'll, be, he'll loop around to the bottom, Survive. too. Oh, he's pat off the screen now. Not too far, though. Come on, straighten out. Ah! Straighten out. Ooh. I have to divert my path a little bit. Come on, big shot. Yeah! Woo! Fourth level now! Four! Yep, just me slinging code, says Cyrano. Good job! Nice. Oh, space time! <gasps> oh, spaceships, little green men. They look like little, um. Uh, Bugs? I was gonna say lice. That's not what I mean. Oh, good God. Uh, what are they? What are the green bugs on plants that are terrible? Oh, aphids. aphids. They're, they're like little floating oh, aphids. Aphids are cute though. They're bad, but they're. Oh, cute. they're terrible. They're cute though. They destroy all the soft plants. Oh. And then you get ladybugs, and they take care of the. Aphids. The la ladybugs do eat them. I was thinking ticks. They do have a bit of a yeah. tickish look. I, I I don't like to even think about ticks, so um, we're we're going with aphids. I told you that I got ticks when I went to um, oh Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. You were on a farm they in Saskatchewan. Were all yeah. over my socks. <gasps> so gross. I don't think I got any on my body. That's Otherwise, I would be going to the so hospital. So lucky. Because of uh, lines. Lots of there's so many diseases from ticks. It's insane. Ticks are bad. Ticks are bad. Not just Lyme disease, but like other really bad. Like ticks. And is it is it Lyme Lyme disease that you can get um, a meat allergy? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a different. It's similar. I thought it was from Lyme disease, but it's, it's an, another tick related disease, a, right? Yes. Oh. It's, there we go. Main main main. What just happened? I don't know. Did you get shot? I didn't see any bullets. I didn't know. Uh, uh -oh. Did I not shooting Yikes. it right? It should be outlawed. Yeah, I wish they could be. That's right, we gotta write a law. Oh, oh no! no! Last life. Oh my god, your score is amazing though. Oh, Good maybe for I'll you. get an extra life. Oh, if you're lucky. I need that. Yeah. And get the ticks! Kill the ticks! So many ticks. They haven't become engorged in human blood blood yet, so. Unlike Atari. Oh, Atari. <laughs> Atari got a feast. Feast of human blood. Oh, oh, good job. Oh, you, you might, you got, did you get an extra life? Yes, you I have did. One life. Good I job. I was at zero. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop following me. I'm, I'm gonna call them aphids though. I don't like, I don't yes. like picking up in this Yeah. Need fleeing tick collars for humans. Where the money is? We had a tick bomb a few years ago on our newish citywide bike walking path. Oh God, that's not a good. During thing. lockdown, so the one thing uh, people could do for fun was ruined. Oh, RC seventy that. What is it saying? I don't know. Maine. Can you watch it. Call in Maine. Call in Maine. I don't know. I think I got hit by a bullet. I think you did. Oh. Still hitting him though, so that's good. He's gone. No, still hitting him. No, he's gone. He's gone. Is he wrap around? Oh, it shouts GPU in main when it's hit. Oh, okay. Because it's a combat jaguar? What? <laughs> it's a combat jaguar. Oh, he's back. Hey, he wrapped around. It's not like instructions I'm supposed to hit him in a certain no. spot or something. There we go. Woo! Level five, the bonus level. Woo. It's a bonus level. Yeah, because nice. it used to have four levels. You get to see all the levels <gasps> for one second. Oh ah. my god! It's helicopter level. Oh my god! Oh, they're so fast. Oh my god! 
Oh, just to stay so alive. Fast. Stay alive. Want to see the big ship? I know. <gasps> oh my god, the oh, bullets are so goodness. fast. I don't know if I can do it. Oh. Oh. You got next. No, you didn't get an extra life. Oh no. How far am I? Oh, I should have. I died. I think you died. Oh, god. Oh, sorry. Oh, so good. That was so good. It's a good run. Good way to end it. Yes. Let's put that high score yeah, in. Yeah, get that high score up there. Z. P. D D D D D D D D D D D D D D Amazing, Cyrano J. Oh my God, what a great game! That's just one of the games on this. Just one. This is a fantastic cart if you have a Jaguar. Yeah, and a great rotary controller or not, it's fantastic. Get a rotary controller. You need a rotary controller. And and how do they get the rotary controller? Uh, through machine. Yeah. Uh, let me on Atari Age. Yeah. In the forums. Yeah, let me post that so you guys can. Um get the address or the URL for that. I see GPU and I think graphics processor. Yeah, GPU. Graphic GPU board. in main means graphics processor in, in main. main board, right? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Sprite is waiting for late treats. He hasn't left. Atari gave up. Atari's out. Yeah. Sprite is still hanging out here. <laughs> so. Hey, little, little Sid Sprite. If you want to do your own, um, there are six of those left. Uh, if you want one that's fully put together, there's six of those left yeah. with the boxed version. You can ask for the non-boxed version, but there's 12 boxes left. The box is pretty cool for an extra 15, especially mm -hmm. if you want to keep it in the box. So there you go. Tempest 2000 high score patch offer inside. Nice. No, there wasn't. <laughs> Maybe on other boxes there are. I think that's a lie. Um, inside joke from the JAG community, GPU yeah. and main. Okay, well, I don't get it. I don't know enough about the <laughs> yeah. architecture of the Jaguar. Yeah. Sprite always wants to Oh, treats. Atari's back for the uh, look in the uh, catnip. Oh. He's pretty happy with the catnip. So I just posted in the chat. Don't this... hit him in the face. Kick. Sprite, oh. Sprite was kicking him in the face. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, so there it is, DIY Rotary, Jaguar Rotary kit, if you want to get your own. It's nice. very easy to put together. If you do need a soldering iron. Yeah. It's not hard to do the soldering. Very, very easy. The wires are included. Everything's included. Nice. So. Um, yeah, go for it. What? Are you going to say something? No. No? Okay. Um, so let's take a look at what's coming up uh there we go so we just played a jaguar rotary controller special part one mm. we're gonna do part two sometime later we're pretty booked up for the next month or so um but might be able to fit it in next month at a, uh, some point um if i hadn't spent too much on a synth i'd yeah. buy a jaguar and a controller just for these games yes well. Speaking um, of synths, so you can sell your synth. We went know. to a wonderful um, music festival on the weekend, that was all dark. We talked about that. Last Not the last one, didn't we? But there was a heck of a lot of synth. Oh yeah, a lot of synth. Because it was all dark wave, synth wave. A lot of synths. A yep. little bit of a little, little guitar. bit of guitar and rock, I but pretty much every band had a a synthesizer or a synth. It was fantastic. Synth in the track. Yeah. 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 Um, so the next episode, we have the uh, exclu... Nope, not yet. Uh, we're going to be playing some Lynx games. And I think a certain controller oh, nice. is waiting for me at the <gasps> post office. So we'll pick that up tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so we can play these Lynx games properly. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> it's kind of a crapshoot, but hopefully. Um, and then the one after that, uh, next Friday, uh, that's going to be with uh, Erlen. Yes. We have the exclusive Thank. world premiere of Space Taxi for the Atari 8-bit. That's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing the whole show that because I want to get through tons of levels. Wave Wave is also called Surfing Synth. Okay. Wave Wave. I've never heard of that. <laughs> it's not like Beach Boys. Uh, wave Wave. Beach music. And, nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, then we, on the 6th of <laughs> June, just making stuff up. Yeah. 6th of June, we have a live interview with Old Style, an exclusive world premiere of... Nice. Um, it's going to be good. Very good. Do not miss that one. Wait. Then the show after that... Oh, no. Oh, 
don't have that scheduled yet. Mm -hmm. But Karamuho, I believe, is ready now to debut any point. Oh, get off. Um, at any point. So I will schedule Karamuho. I might Ooh. put it on the second. I think I'll have to team it up with some other 2600 games. That would be but, good. Um, yeah. Because it, it won't quite fill an episode, but it'll be the first one. So I, I might move that to the second, just to make sure that's still okay. Mm. Uh, remember, there's no show on the 30th, but that's a little ways away. Yep. Um, then we're playing After Dark. Maybe this weekend. It's a long weekend. Maybe we'll do it on Sunday. Well, I'm off on Monday, too, all day. Could do it on Monday, too. Yeah. We'll see. Um, because I don't know Victoria when is, that is happening. Let me just check for round three. Um, schedule. I'm guessing it's that one to June 11th. Oh, we got lots of time. Lots of time. So no rush on that one. Maybe we'll play some Load Runner or Gravitic Mines. Mm -hmm. Mostly Gr Gr Gravitic Mines because it's going to run out the, the pilot card. Um, then we have, uh, along the line, we're a Jaguar Rotary Controller Special Part 2. Part That'll two. be in June Woo! sometime. Arkanoid. Nice. I'm terrible at Arkanoid, Arkanoid, like I say with everything. That might be hard. Be, but it might yeah. be fun. It might be fun with that. Because I don't think there's, like, a Adjustment. downloadable version of Arkanoid. Oh, I see, I see. Let's see if I can pull any strings. But... Kaboom. Yeah. Kaboom. That'd Very be great nice. with the Rotary Controller. Nice. Uh, Project W's Warlords. We only have mm. one Rotary Controller. So somebody's going to be a handicapped. On that one. RC70. And Pong. There's a part two. Maybe I will have to return that soon. <laughs> That's right. More enticing games. Uh, <laughs> then, I've just added this in. We have the exclusive work in progress update of Turbo oh, Arcade nice, coming nice, up. Nice. No date on that. Don't get too That's excited. That's the car game, right? It's the car game. That's a really good game. Yes. And huge updates really on game. that. Really? Okay. And uh, That's Elevator nice. Agent. Huge updates on that. Okay. Exclusive work in progress nice. update on that. So two champ games games. Nice. It's weird to say. Two <laughs> champs is games. Uh, yeah, the whole champ games is. Gam champ games is. Yeah. yeah. Champ games is. I uh, don't know when those will be. So uh, those will be in the future. I just put them on there so I don't yeah. forget about them. Uh, so lots of huge things coming up, and I'm going to try and get some more. And also, a like I said earlier, Vectrex game play day, because I've got the Vectrex arcade stick and a Coleco Vision day mm. with some very special things. If the Champs' is games is. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the one. Uh, if everything goes according to plan, we should have a very special Coleco Vision day. Nice. With maybe an interview. Oh, very nice. Yes. Cool. Cool. Can't say who just yet. <laughs> Have to nail down some things. Uh, yeah, and we're going to be playing When Hop, The Search for Planet X. I may team that up with Karamuho. That would be a good team up. And maybe one more 2600 game in between that as well. That would be good. Um, because I think When Hop has enough in it that uh, make for a very good um, viewing now. He's been working. Um, been working on it for a while. Andrew Davey. Mm. Oh, that's his game. Yeah. We debuted that a long time ago, but so much has been added to it now. Yeah. Uh, so that's it for today. We played Tempest. Amazing on the spinner. Really good. That's perfect. Tempest. Yeah. So good. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, downfall. Awesome. Fun game. I love it on every platform collecting things. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm on the fence. I think I'm. St I would be. I'm better playing at it with. Um, yeah, I agree with that too. It's a little, a little bit more challenging with the rotary controller. Some people might find it better. Uh, I think we. Yeah. Got further without it, but. Um, Rebooteroids, super awesome with the rotary. Great. It's good to spin. You can shoot immediately. It feels organic. It feels right. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of options. Yeah. For two players and single player, really, really good. Uh, RC70 just got Gorf in the mail. Awesome. Nice. Play it. So many awesome. It's a mini game collection, really. Gorf. What What was the comment, RC70, about waiting at the post office? Is it post apocalyptic times in Canada? Did you say something was waiting at the post office? Oh, I I just got a notification today, so I wasn't able to head down there. It was it's it's something. Yeah. For, for the next episode. Um, it's, Ke it's Kevin Costner, deliver it. 
<laughs> no, it's too hot out. Everybody's melting and in that's the streets. True. Uh, anything too big to leave, they keep at the post office. Oh, no, this might to my P.O. box. Oh, this your P.O. box. Okay. That's why this there one's at the post office. But if it is too big. I didn't big, quite get the reference. I'm like, is it post apocalyptic times in Canada? Oh. It is hot. <laughs> yeah, if things are too big for our box, for the um, like ma our mail home. carrier to fit into, they just leave it at the post sometimes office. Sometimes they deliver it to the door. Sometimes they just give you a notification. When it's, when it's Canada Post, usually they give you a notification. Yeah. When it's any other delivery company, they take it to the door. Because they can't take it to the post office and leave it there. Yeah. Canada Post is a little weird because they have a box. And if they can't leave it with the box, then they leave it at the post office. And yeah. our it's complex a is a little different. It's a complicated yeah. <laughs> thing. Complex is complicated. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. uh, so uh, thanks for hanging out yes. with us on a Friday in Canada. It's long weekend. Is it? Mm -hmm. what, what holiday is it? It's yeah. Victoria Day. You don't even know what Victoria Day. One of those monarchs. So um, you guys don't get it because you yeah. have rebuked I think they the have, monarchy. They have a so. Memorial Day around the same time. Do they? Yeah, they have. Do you guys have a long weekend? I think you have a Memorial Day, this right? Weekend? Sometime soon. We sometimes sync it up with the U.S. It's like they have I one. I don't think it's. We'll make up synced one. up, but it's like around the time next week. There oh, you go. Okay. So we have it this week. You have it next week because we just like to do that, like having Thanksgiving on a different a different month. Yeah. So, anyway. Weird. Uh, thank it's you. It's May 2-4. Woo! Yes, May two, correct. May 2-4. It's the May 2-4. Oh. It's the, it's the, the May 2-4. What do you mean, May 2-4? 24 is a weekend. Wednesday. Yeah, but it's always around Victoria Day. <laughs> so silly. The May 2-4. <laughs> People don't know what a 2-4 is. It's 24-pack of beer in Canada. It's slang. Yeah. yeah. May 2-4. Oh, it's right there. It says right there. Yeah. Uh, Cubanismo, it's Cav73, Chalston and Mao, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Fatoko, thanks for hanging out with us. Nostalgic26, mm. Chalston and Mao, VVG Double Down, uh, Rendered Ghost, Danny VC, uh, Cyrano, thank you so much for those three games we played today. Yes. Always a pleasure playing yeah. reboot games. Kefman 2D, probably said it. Gamma Dev, probably said it. Old Style was here. Oh, there we go. Um, who else? Didn't I read? Toko, probably did. Urban Monkey. Oh, that's the top of the list. All right. All right. Oh, Rendered Ghost. I don't know. I don't buy that much beer. We call it a case. A case. Yeah. yeah. It's... Case is ambiguous. Yeah. How big of a case? A, a two four. A two Could four. Could be a six 24. pack. Could be a 12. I don't know if 12 exists. It's either a no, 6, six or, or 24. A 24 you either usually. go 6 or you go hard. Well, it's 6 or you put four sixes together and, and put it in um, a cardboard bottom and there you, there's your 2-4. Oh, or I, a, see. Yeah. I see. We don't have to go to a special beer store. That's we true. don't hear either. That's only Ontario that they have these weird beer yeah, stores. Yeah, can't, you can't buy it at a grocery store here. Well, no. There, there are private beer there are, stores. There are a few now that do it, but it's not... You can't just walk store. around and buy... It's a store in a store, It's though. a store in a store. So it's, it's a technicality. They just started doing that here, but it's not really... Yeah. Yeah, grocery stores do have beer in this... Yeah, we always... In a, in a square within... Yeah. It's, it's like a uh, in, McDonald's in the, inside a Walmart. We have, like... The beer store inside yeah. the store. Yeah, the but, we have a, we have liquor stores that share uh, sell beer and wine, but Ontario has beer stores. Yes. Which I really oh they finally changed the law. Oh. I always kind of like the beer store because you go and you order it and then it comes out on a big conveyor and you just get Ooh. your order. I know it's very efficient. I quite like that. Especially if like you could. I I don't disagree punch with that. It on a the rollers exactly yeah. Can, did they, did they ever make it automated where you can pick so from a menu? So they used to have a wall. So I have to say this. If you ever go to Ontario, you do have to go to a beer store if you're an American because it's just kind of neat. Well, and I don't know if they're still sure this they way. they shut them down. Right? No, no, They'd no, no. There. And roll back the empties. Yeah. The so empties. They, they have a wall. They have empty beer bottles and cans displayed and the prices right on the oh, wall okay. of what they all are. And then you walk up to a counter and you say, I want this, this, and that. And then they have a big roller and they roll the cases of beer out and you just pick it out, pick it up at the back end. Like like in Strange Brew. I don't think I've ever seen Strange Brew. It's quite good. Yeah. Fantastic. Love them. Hush back to the roll. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Since 1999. Yeah. I just, I always just like the beer stores. Yeah. I still like them. 
Yo, dog, I heard you liked stores in the store. <laughs> yeah. So you put a beer store in your grocery store. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just wonderful. Uh, anyway, I don't know if they have many of those. I wish they had them here. I just kind of find that... It's interesting. It's very efficient. Yeah. So it's they like, just have a big warehouse. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like what Consumers Distributing was. Right. Just a um, counter. Which, if, again... Point is Point to the catalog. I don't know if you had that in the States, Consumers Distributing. It was a blip. It was a blip in, in 90s, Canadian history. 80s and 90s? But you would... It was the exact same concept. You'd walk up, you'd say, I want these things... And like, they would hand them to you, or you'd like call Amazon, them up. It was like Amazon, but in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. So you would call the store and say, I want these things. And then you would walk in and you'd pick it up. There was no storefront. I never understood why they didn't... It's brilliant. Keep, ...keep going. Like People wanted to look at the things, I think. It, but now it's the opposite. <laughs> now people don't want to look at them because we have the internet yeah. to review things. And people we can watch videos of other people touching them. So you would think that concept it. would almost be... It would be like having an Amazon store where you order ahead and you just pick it up. But people want it, or I know they want, want it, it to their door. But um, yeah, I think those days are gone. Yeah, yeah. service yeah. merchandise, best, not Best Buy, uh -huh. In and Out Hardware. Yeah, the concept was around in the eighties, yeah. late latish eighties. I I don't know. I always thought it was cool, but it didn't last very long. Oh, I digress. I'm getting nostalgic now. <laughs> beer nostalgic. stores, though, the beer store kept that concept up, and it. There's still some Filling like that. Filling out the forms? Ew. Forms. I love forms. <laughs> I love filling out Miss forms. Miss going down to browse electronics. I do love browsing electronics. Yeah. We have a place called London Drugs here. They still have <gasps> electronics. It's not, not that Not very big. Yeah. But I loved electronic stores. Just rows and rows of cool gadgets. Yeah. I need to go back to Japan. They still have that. Yeah. Just huge electronic stores. It's so awesome. <sighs> or you can go to a, like, um, a night market. They also have garbage electronics electronics stuff. yeah um like we have a chinese night market here in um Hi. vancouver yeah and they have like i don't know little toy planes and bootleg dvds probably not anymore but um, we haven't been there in a while we should go back oh, it stinks the smell of the, the yeah the food, food is I don't very know what smelly it is. it's fish or something a lot of fish and stuff yeah and it's deep fried and it just like it smells like yeah a garbage can like yeah. garbage juice we have like um, hot garbage juice. <laughs> it's the worst smell in the Fry's world. Fry's Electronics was really cool too. I remember yes. going to that in the U.S. and, that was and super it was cool. very very fun. Yeah. Tried to hack into the catalog computer they had there at the <laughs> service merchandise. Funny. Oh yeah, yeah something. It was, oh, I miss it was hacking neat. into computer store computers in the eighties. You used to do that. Not was... not not their computers, but yeah. like the display computers or whatever you try and get. Past the menu system. Why and, am I not surprised? Or not surprised. or school computers, messing around with school computers. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so much fun. Our garbage shows you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife got our kid a weird bus in Toronto when she visited. He ended up being terrified of it. We used to threaten to <laughs> take it out if he didn't behave. Like a weird electronic one, like a like a remote controlled bus. The, That's funny. the bus is coming out. <laughs> The clean, bus toy. Clean your room. Sorry. Oh. Nope. Not get out. <laughs> I love that movie. No. Nope. Get out. Until recently closed fries I'd been to. Used a recently closed fries I'd been to. Oh, oh cool. in That's the right. movie. That's yeah, right. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Oh, weird toy that sang in some Asian language. Oh, funny. Oh. Yeah, singing toys can be super creepy. They can be really Especially creepy. if they just sit there with open eyes and yeah. go. Yeah. Teddy Ruxpin with Teddy its Ruxpin battery was winding down. A little, a little freaky. I am coming to you. Or the the tape in it gets a little stretch. Yeah. Garbled, yeah. Because yeah. you can put any tape you want in. That's it. true. He would sing to a death metal if you wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that happened. Oh, anyway, good, we good gotta times. leave. Yes, we do. <laughs> um so thanks for hanging out with us uh have a yes. great weekend uh long weekend for canadians uh we might do an after dark if we Maybe get bored day, yeah sunday day monday yep yep saturday we're busy doing a second part of the safety brothers marathon yeah. so watching three uh three, three features movies. tomorrow yep hopefully it won't be too hot so yeah we'll have lots of cold drinks right kid yeah yeah and i'll have to go, go treat my toe now so have a good night yeah. and we'll see you next time yes. or next Tuesday. Bye-bye mm -hmm. everyone. Bye-bye.